and good afternoon from Speakers Corner Live. Welcome to Hoffa's Reflex. Here we are at uh, the open air insane asylum that is Speakers Corner. And this is uh, the episode, uh, this is part two of today's stream because part one crapped out a little bit. So uh, if you are still uh, watching the old one, switch over to this one. I, and I hope you guys uh, can join me for this mad an insane place that we have called Speakers Corner. It is a bit windy today, but generally it's pleasant and dry. I think I can, is that Bob? Uh, no, that's not Bob. Okay, we don't have any other major heavy hitters in yet. We've got Shalili, uh, JD has just arrived from Soko Films, but um, uh, Uncle Asif is doing this thing. Omar was doing some craziness over at the other channel, uh, over at the, uh, at the previous stream. We'll probably catch up with Omar as well. Omar has actually um, brought in a turnip, a very long elongated turnip instead of a cucumber this week. Previous weeks he apparently brought a cucumber to harass Shalili with, but he's now uh, going to threaten and harass people with a turnip. Now, I would like to remind those who, th uh, there was a certain, uh, certain individual uh, a lady who thought I was threatening her by a hypothetical dildo whilst Omar shows up with a turnip threatening people to uh, do all sorts of sexual things to them and no one seems to bat an eyelid because Omar is a filthy disgusting individual. So I just want that to be out there. Uh, thank you for those who have already joined me in the chat. Uh, sound off if you're in the chat. Um, thank you N Noma or is it Norma? I'm sorry the sun's in my eyes it's hard to see. Um, the cucumber episode now. <laughs> turnip. <laughs> yes, yes, it's a turnip episode instead of a cucumber episode. Anyway, anyway, so we're gonna, yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna go, go and check out what is to be seen around here. Flip the old, okay, we flip the camera and there it is. And Okay, so far so uh, so good. Not a lot is happening. I see Asif having a little conversation. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, there's the Messiah, who is clearly in, in, insane, but not unhinged, just insane. Uh, but yes, he is. He is. He is uh, a few few s slices short of a loaf some would say. Hmm. Is Uncle Asif doing his thing, usual. I don't know what, they're, what the debate is. Okay, that's, they're talking about, um, I think this gentleman's Sikh. I don't think he's, uh, he's Muslim. Only by accepting this single word, that God forgive. Only accepting this. Yeah, so it's like an exclusive club. Yeah, Jesus said, I am what the way, it? the truth, and the life. Don't come to the Father but by me. Okay, Amen. okay, so it's exclusive, yeah? It's not exclusive because anyone yeah. can join. Yeah. 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 You can choose to reject it. Yeah. Yeah. I can, can just say I accept Jesus. And to dinner. Dinner. You get a choice whether you yeah, come yeah, or not. Yeah, yeah. So oh, Jesus exactly. says, I am the way. Not I really am that exclusive. the doorway yeah. to heaven. I am the very I mean, how many people of the 8 billion people living on earth are going to go there? Well, no one knows. Whoever. About 2 million. Who else? About two billion. Oh. Yeah, so it's pretty exclusive. Oh, you know what I mean? Oh, because that's all the two million that have accepted. Okay, yeah. and Everyone so else they can accept. no, no. Yeah. So they live like a. They go to this great place, yeah, yeah. as he was Apparently. deciding, yeah. And then the six other billion people, they, they don't choose. get to go. No, they, they choose. Oh. They, they don't do. want yeah. to go. Yeah, they well, don't there, want there, to go. There is a thing called purgatory that they may end up in for a while. You <laughs> no, no, but the thing is, all religions have different sort of invitations. Do you know what I mean? Nobody claims. 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 N
show you the way. Oh, it's Same as Moses said, said, I will show you the way. But Jesus said, I am the way. I'm not going to any particular. Yes. Yeah. Come oh, through me. Okay, let's be honest. A lot of people have probably said that throughout that's history. That's the term. Why is it only Jesus? That that's the one. They have a child throughout history. How many people have lived throughout history? Can you name one? Can I name Tell me who specifically said, I am the way. What, just based on uh, the 2,000 years of history we have? What? I'm talking about beyond that, someone could have said that. But you're telling me yeah, only Jesus... Well, they didn't yeah, yeah, mathematically, yeah. probably, well, they they probably could have said it. Yeah, they could have said we it. We do not know they if they've said it or not. But only Jesus oh. is the one who came, they lied died and rose again. So by his resurrection we know okay, fair, that what fair. he said is true. Because okay. if he died and if he can rise again, and the promise that he gives us is eternal we life. Therefore, again. we know when we die, we will rise again to be with him. I mean, if yeah. this this was all if true, if this was all true, spiritually, then I would love to just join. You know what I mean? Yeah. But oh, you do see how this gaps. That's Sorry, Christianity is a resurrection. Yeah, we, we get, we get oh, sorry, a repent. Body. You, you will have a new body. Yeah, you will have a new body. That's what it says. You will not be resurrected right in your own body. Because your body now. Is you know? I mean, as a human being, so I already you know, know that I'm um, you you a person. So I think I'm a no. I don't think I'm a bad person, I just don't think I'm, I'm just a human, you know what I mean? The Bible says like it's appointed once for a man to live, then comes once for a man to die, then comes judgment. So one day we're all gonna stand before God. No, I, I believe that. Yeah. I, and how are you gonna measure up? What's he gonna to say to you? I don't know, because his mind's a lot more supreme than mine. You know, yeah. He'll look at me where well, I'll look at things and be like, oh yeah, that was pretty good. But then obviously he knows more. So in the in the old testament you've heard of the, the um, Ten Commandments, which... I've heard of them. Right, okay. Yeah. So I'm not going to go off that to say that's what God wants for everyone. Yeah, but he said he's Ladies and gentlemen in the chat, could you please tell me if the sound is good or bad? Uh, I know it's a bit windy, but other than that, uh, as long as it's coming through clearly. Like we, we intuitively know what is right and wrong. You know very well. You, you can't, can't go murder someone. You know that's wrong, don't you? I personally haven't murdered anyone. I don't plan on doing it. But, but where, where does your moral people, compass come from? Instinctual. No, it's got God put it there because He oh, created no, no, I, it. I, 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 I agree with that. Yeah. But do you need the, Do you need the Bible to know not to yeah, kill someone? Yeah, that's where I'm no, going. No, no, <laughs> it's in there already. So it's already yeah, in you. So we don't need the Bible. Technically, yeah, but it's the word of God. It's it. Yeah, but if we, if we know not to kill anyone already, we don't need Jesus and the Bible to tell us. So but why? So why do we need? We all we all break those laws, don't we? We all we all do. No, do I'm things, learning anyway. Yeah, yeah, but we do I, things uh, contrary to our conscience. Anyway. Yeah, no, but you do things contrary to your conscience, don't you? Oh, that's like when you know, like maybe you shouldn't have took that. That didn't belong. There has to, to be you. an opposite to no good. You have to have bad to no good. So there has to be that. This is the play of life, isn't it? We do our best. But I'm saying it's like a mother, and most mothers, some but there are exceptions. Mothers know how to love inherently love their child. They don't need the Quran or the Bible to tell them. It's in them. Because God created yeah, them you, yeah, but He's we, created yeah, us but, for a but purpose. It, but they, I mean, you and I could have lived 10,000 years ago and we'd have had no knowledge of Judaism. Our ancestors may have been in, in I don't north. Believe, yeah, but I don't believe in an older, I oh, believe was, in a younger. Well, that's fine, but yeah, lots so of people didn't know the about the Judaism, like the Chinese didn't know about Judaism, or the American Indians had no concept of the Bible. Even if you say the earth is 6,000 years old, those people had no concept of Jewish law or Christianity, yet they still had understandings of, you know, what a mother loving his child. Or I just want everyone to know that those people were savages and none of them were actually civilized human beings. <laughs> Technically, we're savages as well. You look at those. I'm just, I'm just saying that before Jesus, they were all savages and they were murdering and killing at random. Childish. No, no, no. It's clearly obvious. Savages don't live today. Yeah, it's, 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 it's sarcasm, gentlemen. <laughs> I just want to let everyone know. <laughs> okay, but you see how it's an exclusive club then, yeah? Because so the people Roman before Empire Jesus, they it. couldn't go there, right? But it's God's house, how, how uncle described. It's God's house where God dwells, and it's a beautiful place. And you're saying only through Christ, but Christ didn't exist before then. And how many humans existed before? So yes, it is a very exclusive club. Yeah, it is before because they it's meant by the law, didn't they? And Jesus came to fulfill the law because mankind couldn't measure Not up to the law. Not if you were living law. in medieval China. They had no concept of Jewish law. Nobody did. What about the Aboriginal Australians? They wouldn't have known about Judaic law. 
God, God put morality in the hearts of all men. Some just choose to avoid it, and, and Jesus came to clarify it for them. Oh, he just clarified. So yes, the people who didn't to remind them that God has put the moralities of God in their hearts, but they just, okay. just people forgot. People, people have just like Adam and Eve who fell for and by sin. Sin exists within us, and so does the God's morality. And so, because of sin, Jesus had to come in order to wash us of the sin. Yeah, but answer to him where he said, "Life is." So, what if we don't need the Bible if it's already in? No, no, no. You do because Jesus had to wash you of the sin of Adam and Eve all human beings have the sin of Adam and Eve within them can we keep it in one there's only one God yeah but that's your Jewish God dude I can argue this shit of course, there are, there are many gods so are there well okay let's it, call him Zeus though for, for instance, can we call him Zeus if it is true there is only one truth isn't there yeah and there's Zeus that's his name Zeus Zeus no sorry did he say the Greeks had Zeus the yeah, but there isn't historical evidence, as in, like, with Jesus Christ. How could we know that? That was so long ago. Like, that historical historical evidence could have perished by now. Well, the historical used to work to worship the goddess. Those were pagan gods. The they, they were not the real gods. Name. Paganism is just a name. No, I'm talking about Someone those. Can. Those were false gods. God I, I, you, you Jesus what? said there will be false gods and false prophets. Could say okay, fair after no. the Actually, I'll leave, leave he said a great thing. thing. Is that correct? What's that? that so? Jesus said that there will be false gods and false prophets. Yes. Yeah. You're yeah. not even a Christian, right? You're just. You're don't just don't mess with me. <laughs> don't 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 destroy a perfectly good thing. <laughs> because me and you probably have similar ideals. I believe in God. You know what I mean? But I feel like all this. Of how people are arguing who's right yeah. it's so counterproductive uh, Jesus is king <laughs> we could probably be looking at all, all of us now like I yeah, create these guys and they're all just and, and, yeah and I just but why, why do why do men fight why is there so much evil and wickedness I feel insulted sir why do what huh? why, why do man fight why I'm besmirching my good name <laughs> yeah this is the why? kind of conversation I'd like to have I'm glad why, I could why see through so you're asking me yeah why do they fight I think it's intrinsic. Well, it's territorial. It's, 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 it's intrinsic. Humans are actually just like that. Animals. But if, if you said there is a God, like we, yeah. we believe, yeah. yeah, and He created us yeah. perfectly, so you're saying that He put that there for us to. Yeah. He did. I, I'm, I'm saying that. Right. I'm saying so if there is a God, that means created all of this, He meant to do it if He's God, right? Because He's. Yeah, yeah. So I am saying he meant it to be like that. To answer your question as to why the humans fight, I'm giving the best of my human perspective. Yeah. I, I can't really give you beyond that. I can only give it to you from what I think and see. But you see, the Christians have the answer to that. Oh, so, so sh show us the answer. It's because of the sin of Eve and the fallen, and the fact that human beings are fallen. Entered into the world through one man. Okay. And salvation comes by one man. Exactly. Who they call this? Who is called the second Adam? What Jesus. About, what about Eve? What's she got to do with it? Because she. she Eve wasn't she? Yeah, but she's, you know, she's part of the game as well as Adam and Eve. She's part of the game. Yeah. She. You said a man sinned and then another man. But there's a man and a woman in the story, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's both, right? Yeah, yeah. But God created order. You see, God created. Adam first, and then he brought Eve as yeah, a I get, help. I know the yeah. story, yeah. But I'm just saying, what about, so if you've got to have Adam and Eve that fell, and then you've got to have the, the, the cure for that, shouldn't Jesus have a counterpart, female? No. Why not? The, the church is his bride. That's the, oh, so it's, it gets a bit abstract. Isn't it? The church. Yeah. The church That's like is his bride. Not, what, is he not See, here for all of humanity? No, he's coming back for those who, who do you want to accept Jesus? That's your que That's a question to you. But do you see how it's exclusive, right? I could just be living my life and then it has to be... Yeah. Do you accept me? Like, you can't well, talk to me to about go God. preach the gospel no, no, to all you people. You can't talk to me about God without mentioning Jesus. Because Jesus is God. Yeah. I mean, that's fine. I, I'm not going to argue against why you think that. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. But I don't understand why I have to accept. Why? Because you... Because 
because going past two white mankind are evil towards one another is because sin entered into the world. Okay. Right? And when you stand, like I said, and once you die, you're gonna stand before God and be judged. And he's gonna and he's gonna go through every single thought you've ever had. Every uh, okay, evil intention. That. That's fine. God, he's a, God will do that. The thing is he's, he's a holy and just God. Yeah, yeah, God, God. Yeah. He's holy and just. Okay. So I love that guy. So and paradise, heaven, is perfect and sinless and sin can't be in the presence of God. So in his great mercy, because he doesn't want you to perish, the Bible says he doesn't want any to perish, he's made a way for you to be redeemed and restored so that you can come into heaven once you die. Okay. And that's only through Jesus Christ, because he came and he lived the sinless perfect life. Yeah, but that's God's mercy towards mankind. He made a way for you to be to be reconciled. I believe he made many ways for everyone. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to just be become a Christian. So, so like well, the way of like Mohammed. What 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 way of redemption does he offer? I'm sorry, I don't. I'm not Muslim. Okay, well, well, then, um, but but I can okay. talk about it. I know about it. Okay, so then well, you said you were a Sikh, are you? Or... I, I didn't say it, but I am. Okay, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I didn't you, say you did. You did. Did I? Earlier, yeah. Yeah, you did. Because oh, I, I thought Sikh and you shall find them. Sorry? <laughs> seek the verse in the Bible, find. seek and you shall find him as well. Can so I ask you a right question? Of course, well. You know, he said before, you want to, where's heaven, I want to go. Yeah. How's the way? So how are you getting there? How am I getting there? Yeah. If you want to go... I don't know, if someone can give me a ticket, I'd, I'd Jesus, jump on. It has Jesus, to make sense yeah. to me. It has to make sense to me. You don't have a ticket. Jesus yeah, Christ, but then Jesus I go over Christ there. Like the if when I go over there, yeah, but what, what can they offer you? They don't have the word to what eternal you? life. Like, what you, you, how are you guys to different to them? Because we don't have to work our way. It's a gift. Are you yes, going? Are you, got, are you in? Yes, we know. We're in. We're, 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 we're in. Why are you there now? We're all on the party. Because we could have done. We're all on the on the Jesus party bus. I'm saying the only part that doesn't make sense. The God we've all done a lot of sense. I mean, that's the thing that that's the thing that makes the most that are only if you're a Christian. No, it's not. It's not only if you're a Christian. They weren't called Christians until a bit yes. much later. When okay, but so you see how it's become this ideal has become a tribalistic yes, thing. I understand that. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all these tribes, even yeah. through the Islam, the Sikhs, you know, they have many tribes within them. Well, and it just becomes a mess. And it's actually getting a bit like that, in all honesty. I mean, I mean wherever Bible humans are, it's going to be like that. Yeah. Yeah. The Bible yeah. warns against yeah. corrupting the simplicity yeah. that's of the gospel. Yeah. So the simplicity that's in Christ is this simple. Yeah. Yeah. We're sinners, we're separated yeah. from God. Our yeah. sins separate us from God. And it was like, right, what can I do so that I can get rid of that sin so I can let them in? Right, because we're all shut out, okay? So he came himself, okay? God in the flesh, manifest in the flesh, okay, came himself okay. sinless completely, fully man, last Adam, the first Adam lost it all, this one's going to gain it all back. Yes, that's first, yeah, the last Adam came fully flesh, fully human, sinless and fully God, okay, so that at sacrifice could be eternal, right? Okay. Okay. So as a Christian, you can believe a human can come in as fully God this, this is God. God. No, 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 I know that, I know that, I'm going to onto something else. Okay, okay. God can. God okay, so you believe it, it can happen, yeah? So yeah. what's to say that can't happen again? Again. Because it, it doesn't do need to happen back. again. It doesn't need to happen again. It's, it's a sacrifice. In Hebrews, yeah, it said it's once for all. Where did they say because that? Because in Hebrews, in the book of Hebrews, if you read that, okay, okay, so, so because a book told you, yeah. it can never happen again. Well, because God told me, I believe that is the word of God. When yeah. I got okay, saved... Okay, but that's your personal thing. Well, but because I know my experience has been real. Yes. You know I mean? Exactly, that's a personal thing. Experience. Yeah, it is a personal Jesus thing. And I God can't person. prove it true to you. But what you can do is go and prove it true to you. Yeah. So you can go and get before God. I, I, have, I have the same thing with my own religion. Like I can experience all of this stuff. But that doesn't mean I can apply it to someone else's life. No, but can, does your religion get you to, to, to heaven for all eternity? I mean, when no. Jesus says, I am the door. Who is you know, claiming that they can? I know, everyone Jesus, in this park. But. Jesus Christ claimed he was That's what he came for. Him. God wanted to find a way back for his people. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what he did. It's a gift. Now, if you had children, okay, wouldn't you make, and it was a way to save them from dropping off a cliff, wouldn't you make that way as simple as possible so all of them could? Go, and that's what he's done. He's just simply trusting that he's come in the court. He's not so sure. Let's take, take in no, the no, court. Quick question. Oh, quick question. I want to get to the root of this. We've got eight billion people living now. How many of them 
by your personal beliefs are going to heaven. Everyone has one who receives Jesus Christ. Okay, so roughly, how many, how many do you reckon? Oh, right. Can you tell me what the Bible says? Can I tell you what the, the what number says? Okay. Well, I, I, I believe the Bible, and the Bible says it's a numberless multitude. In Revelation, it says a numberless multitude. Okay. Okay, based on that information, how many do you think? I have no idea because that's talking about forever. Do you know what I mean? It's talking about for as long as men are No, no, I want to thank you for that. Yeah. How you said, I have no idea. Yeah, I think I that, no that, that should be the opinion of every single person in this park yeah. no about what we they believe. We have no idea. When somebody but, says to me, I'm surprised they say they're a Christian. We have to take the word for it, but I don't know. I only know about exactly, me. Exactly, Do you know what I mean? Exactly. But if I took, it, it might be simpler to explain it this way. You know, I, you're, normally when if I'm trying to give someone the gospel, take them in the courtroom and say, look, you're going to stand before a judge, the judge of all the earth. And when you get there, we've broken his laws, right? We all say that. We've said we've broken his laws. It's no good saying to the judge, just like on earth, well, hang on, let me tell you about all the good things I've done. We say, oh, that's I mean, very that's nice. Not gonna matter, no, listen, let me, let, me carry, let me finish and then you can answer me. It's no good saying and telling me all the good things you've done. I've still got to punish. You for what you've done, right? So that's the same with God. He's a, he's a yeah. He's, he's not a corrupt judge. He can't be bribed. Okay. So you're innocent or guilty. So you're guilty. So it's heaven or hell. It's hell. He doesn't want that. Hang on a minute. He doesn't want that. Okay. So he, two thousand years ago, he made a way of escape for that. And Jesus comes in the courtroom with a pardon, paid in blood at Calvary, and says, "Hang on. I've got a pardon. I've got a pardon for this man. Okay. If he takes it. If he takes it. Okay." Okay, then he can go to heaven. To I've paid for his we sin. He's guilty of sin, but oh, I've paid for it, and he's no, sealed the way. Do you get that? No, and that's it. And that's why it's a gift. But here's the catch. Here's the catch. Here's the catch. Right? You've got to do that before you get in the court. You've got to take that pod before, and you're his then. I belong to him now. He's put. He's bought me. I'm not my own. He's bought me with a price. But I belong to the best, the best person in the world, and he's saved me. Thirty years years ago I was a heroin addict okay and I was a heroin addict for 10 years and he saved me 30 years ago and changed my life completely and my children's lives I went back to college you got a first class on his degree and went to social services he changed my life and he's changed only Jesus can do that only Jesus can do that but only through Jesus but this special one time offer is available to you in this one lifetime Yes, a God's not limited to Jesus. But this one-time offer uh, no. is available no. in this one lifetime. No refunds. No cashback. Yeah. So when I can I ask you a question? When, obviously, we both believe in God. Of course, we believe in God. We believe in God, right? Okay. What do you mean? We believe in the right God. There's only one. God, the creator of heaven and earth. Okay, 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 okay. Do you believe someone created this place? Oh, God, yeah. The creator. Nothing that has ever been created has, does not have a creator. The hat has a creator. Your jumper has a creator. That coffee. That cup has a creator. That barista that made that coffee for you is your coffee god. Okay, There's okay. There's nothing in this world that doesn't have a maker behind it. Okay. So, yeah, even... Do you today, have all the knowledge on God? Yeah. Okay, because so you're a human, right? Okay. And I am a human as well. I am the spirit of God living inside And so do I. I oh, there God. we go! I wanted to get to that point. Christ there we go. is also I don't the spirit, spirit of the living God. No, no, but I don't have no, the spirit of God. Okay. okay, so do you see why I said it's exclusive, yeah? Do you understand me? How it doesn't work? Why do you mean it's exclusive? It's exclusive that in the I don't have it's exclusive. It's you the spirit of God in me. I don't have the spirit of God in me. You can. But I was created by God. It comes in when you accept the invitation. The invitation is here in spirit speaking to you saying Pav I absolutely adore you I created you okay. in my Okay, that hairy ball sack is my microphone, people. Stop complaining. To make a choice, because yeah. I'm loved, I won't force myself upon okay. you. Okay, okay. Yeah. But I did force you, because I was so, 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 so
I came, I got off my throne in heaven, I came down in the person of a man so you could relate to me, you could have a relationship with me, you could look in my face, yeah? Jesus, I always say, puts a face, he makes it personal, that's the difference between every other religion. Jesus is what reconciles the soul back to its maker, yeah? The gift is for everybody, it's free. This is a very, very, very egotistical thing. Because you're only doing it related what, on your own what, subjective what, what experiences. What ego is going to lay his life down for his enemies like Jesus did? Because Jesus said we were all, we were all enemies. You can love him, that's fine. But the word you use would mean saying... I want to spend eternity. I am spending eternity with him. That's fine. I'm happy for you that you're happy about it. And Jesus said you can only get to the Father, God, the Creator. You can only come back through me. Because me and the Father are one. When you accept me, we will come to live back inside your heart. Right now, you're all separated because of sin. But I've done it because I'm God and I love you. I've done it. I created the plan for salvation to bring you back to me. I'm the righteous judge. The consequence of sin is death. Your spirit dies and you weren't born to sin. But the moment we turned away from God, and what is a trial life of independence of him? He had to take his spirit out of our hearts. He said, okay, you go and try life without me. You know it. You're always going to be in my heart. Yeah, I created you. But I have to take my spirit away from you because you are sinning now. You turned in your heart from me. I can't go with you. But the moment you upset what I did on your behalf, I put my spirit back inside you, me and you all want to fall together. You all want to get to me, and you all want to get to me, and you all want to get to me. Yeah. And all the difference is that's, 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 that's the crux of the, the whole thing. Though, right? That's why it comes down. Jesus Christ. No, 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 but that's why it comes down. The grace of God, accept my free gift. Yeah. I'm, I'm giving you a gift. I'm saying it's from God to you. Whether you receive it and open it up, yes, yeah, is your choice. God will never force it down. But he does want you to know that he's done everything he needed to do to bring you back to him. You know, it's written Jesus is the apple of his father's eye. Guys, uh, this conversation is kind of growing very stale and repetitive, so I'm going to avert your eyes to that gentleman over there. Look at that suave individual, so well dressed. Look at that. That's what we call a well dressed man who's come down to Speaker's Corner. That man. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, you are dressed way too good for this place. I just. <laughs> <laughs> like to shake your hand for being the most well-dressed man in this park. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no, I don't know. This is this is very suave, very suave. <laughs> Dapping <in> here. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, we're moving on. We're moving on. Very well-dressed gentleman. Um, let's see what else is going on in this crazy place. Okay, we are moving to, let's see, let's see, we got, we got Asif, Asif debating something with Shalili, oh, okay. In the Bible, in 2 Peter 1, 1, Jesus said, Peter said, Jesus our God and Savior. In John, Jesus, uh, in Revelation, in Revelation, Jesus says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. And Jesus, even God in the Old Testament, as Jesus before becoming flesh, he said, I am the first and the last. I am the beginning and the end. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I need to correct a lie. She said about the temptations in during the desert. Jesus was referring to the Old Testament, and he was given scripture from the Old Testament. Where he said, which, which do not put, where he said, do not put your Lord God to the no, 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 no. Okay, this is this is yet another conversation about Ju uh, Jesus. I'm not entirely sure. I think I'm, I'm all Jesus out for now. I need a break. Let's see. Let's see if there's any Mohammedans talking about Muhammad. I don't know. Where's uh, where are the conversations?
going. What's up, Jamie? Big up, big up. So, uh, have you found anything of any interest in this park today? Anything, any, anyone of any kind of interest? Well, that's the guy who always heckles Bob and stands way too close to one uh, to, to a man for my liking. But he's talking to the big nose right now. I might enjoy this conversation, it's talking about Israel. Oh, yeah, but the thing is, um, Andy doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> Andy refuses. But... There's a who? Oh, yes, 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 John. This is John accosting the other Christians. John! Yeah, yeah, I think, I think, I think you should have fasted for Lent. <laughs> He is. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. We are right now. We're not. We're not really sure. Not really sure. Nobody's debating at the moment. There's a lot of debaters. A lot of master debaters here. Lots of people that are masterful debaters. Some would say they are master debaters. Master debaters. Lots of master debaters here. Skillful debaters who've been debating for many, many years. They are very masterful in their debating tactics and skills. And there's Francis. Let's see what Francis is in on. Because this gentleman. Um, this is one of the one of the heavy hitters, Mansoor. Oh, sorry. Hey. The sign, the, the sign of Jonah was a prophecy by Jesus Christ. Okay. Are you happy or not? No, not it's not happy. Sorry. Oh, no, sorry, I only got him. No, no, don't worry about it. They don't want to be in the place. Uh, they're not in. It's just you. It's literally just, just you. Talk, talk. But his, their voice is going to come in, right? It's right. Well, okay. <laughs> it is yeah. your voice. <laughs> what were you so, saying? So, the answer this gentleman provided, obviously he didn't understand the question. Maybe you can ask the question again to him. From that far power, but that's not worth You said, is there any prophecies about Jesus Christ? Yeah, he's asking, him. basically, he's saying, what he is trying to say is, Isaiah the prophecy three. is not about Jesus in himself. Okay? It because is, it doesn't mention his name. I mean, it doesn't need to. If you look at Isaac, it, 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 it doesn't matter. It's it doesn't matter. The question I'm asking. It doesn't say Muhammad in the Old Testament. Jesus is prophesied that you believe in. So why is he not prophesied by name? That's the question I'm asking. For example, if he was so important that he is the end of everything, right? Why is he not even mentioned by name even once in the teachings of the Jewish scripture? Why not? I mean, he doesn't, he doesn't need to be because Muhammad was not mentioned in, in the Torah. So what, 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 to be not Jesus be. Christ in Isaiah, Isaiah, Isaiah 53. Shout if, if you look at if you look at Isaiah 53, it talks about the Messiah will come. He'll be pierced by a tongue of Bethlehem. He'll wipe away our sins, which Muhammad didn't do. So we know this prophecy was not uh, fulfilled by no one else but Jesus Christ. Explaining. No, he's preaching. So I'm asking. I am asking. Why is the name name not mentioned? And the answer was he doesn't need to. Okay. Right. That's not an answer of my, to my question. Well, yeah? Muhammad a prophet. Look, look. First, let's deal with that. Okay. I I said Christ was a Muslim, and you disagree. I did agree. I did disagree. I don't yeah. believe that. Then I said. Definitely don't believe And that. I said a Muslim is someone who surrenders their will. Yes. Yeah, willingly. Submission to God. Willingly and sincerely to the will of God. Now. If you were to use that definition and apply that definition to Christ, did he willingly and sincerely submit his will to the will of God? The answer is, without a shadow of doubt, yes, he did. So in that definition, that makes him a Muslim. Not Islam, really. Islam, Islam, Islam came is, 600 years after. Islam is... Islam is... Islam, is, Islam came 600 years after. Islam, Islam is a state of submission. Someone who submits and surrenders their will, that state of submission is called Islam. So... So is a Buddhist a Muslim? Is a Sikh a Muslim? Because they submit ago, to God. Or 10,000 years ago, doesn't matter. Whoever has a state of submission and surrender, 
to do with one God, their ideology, their belief system, we say is Islam. Right. So Just now in that in that system. definition, in that definition. I do have to quote to you. Um, can I finish is, first? So the thing is the God in all in all honesty, when he's when he he's, he's clear about the submission to the will of God, yeah, right? Correct. Submitting to the according to the will of God. So if he was submitting to the will of God at that time, and the Jews it. also themselves were submitting to the will of God, to exactly. one God, but he was crucified for and anyhow, even though he was preaching Islam, so that the visible bit of a concern, And brother, I want to say right? something, right? So, so, that dissemates the whole argument. So, so Jesus Christ, let, Jesus, let me, so, let me, so Jesus Christ, let me, good. One point yeah, yeah, inside. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. One point inside. So, that gentleman over there explained to you about the Jews submitting. Now, how does that in any way affect the state of submission of someone not being called Islam. The Jewish people, if they submitted and surrendered their will to God, Islam it would make them what? Muslim. It doesn't make them religion to me? It came 600 years after. Comes, he is, listen, I'm not a very educated man, but all this. So that you realize Islam, Islam is the only no, accepted religion to God. No, why don't we say it's Judaism? Because that was six, Islam okay. was 600 years after. Define How can Judaism. These, I'm just trying to demand it, man. Judaism, then I can respond. I'm not really a Jew, but I think Judaism is those who submit the world to the Almighty. I don't want to be in the camera. I don't want to be in no cameras. Okay, sir, I want to be in the camera. Um, ask it. Let's talk, we're talking, we're talking. Please do not include this gentleman in the camera, okay? Let him talk. See, it looks like him. So, what is Judaism defined? So you're you're expert in the field, I would say. Can you ask him that question? Because I'd love to hear it as well. What's your specialty? Christianity. Apologetics. Okay. So what's the definition of Judaism? No, no, Judaism is, is having under the law your it's a prophecy basically. The submission to Yahweh. No, no, no. Obviously we know that one, but there's the yeah. law, isn't it? Not the law is prophesying what is going to happen. So in the Old Testament, it's prophesying who the Mashiach, the Messiah, oh, is going yeah, to be. Yeah. So you see lots of Are you of explaining or defining? I, I'm explaining. No, I don't want your explanation. I want a definition. Uh, uh, okay. Try again. Is, is that a better explanation for no. you? Try again. I, I, I'm giving you my answer. I'm, I'm not interested not in explanation. No, I'm not interested in explanation. Okay. I am, I'm I am not interested in simple dialogue. Thank you. With no, 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 no. Do you want to... Do you want to... So no, 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 Muslim is getting... Uh, no, I'm getting a better explanation. Just giving a better explanation. I'm looking at it. I've got ears. I can hear it. We are having a discussion. My friend, we are having a discussion. Sorry, yeah. No, no. The people... The people... The people you're bringing in... They're not engaging. If I ask you, if I, <laughs> if I, my friend, yeah, okay, come on. If I ask you, what's your name? What's your name? Gilbert. Gilbert. Suppose if I ask you what's your name, you say I like strawberry in my breakfast. Would that be your name? No. Right. Thank you. Exactly. So when I ask no, someone a question, I expect the right. question to be answered, not something else. So he's answering it. No. So I asked him for a definition of Judaism. He's not willing. Providing. What's the definition? Wait, so you're saying a Buddhist is a Muslim, a Sikh is a Muslim, so every, every and religion. Harry Krishna is a Muslim. You're saying so every me, every believer in different religions are Muslim. So if we now take that definition of Islam, Sorry, Islam. Islam means to submit to Allah. Why are you interrupting Allah? Why are you interrupting Allah? Why are you interrupting Allah? Thank you. So Islam being the state of submission of oneself to the will of God is a universal. I want to be in the camera. Please stop that. The whole of the screen. Where is this camera? Can you talk to me? I want to be in the camera. Please, please do not include this camera. I don't I don't talk to people who don't He's new in faith. Brother, he's new in faith. He's new in faith. Do <laughs> you like picking sweet songs? I said, I'm praying on it. I am not interested in speaking to you. Hey, go speak to someone else. Thank you. Huh? So, Gilbert, the state of submission. The state of submission. Guys, I'm moving away because this is boring. And generally, not a lot is going on. Will be remitted. Okay. okay, thank you. But you Christians, do you have to kill your God to be forgiven sins? God's idea of eradicating sins out of the children of Israel. How by dying in Jesus became a sacrifice oh, but on the cross. Oh, you said so Jesus was God. Now you said Jesus sacrifice. <laughs>
Only one, right. my friend, the Islam God. cannot forgive your sin. Buddhism cannot forgive your okay. sins. Hindus cannot forgive your sin. Religion has no power over sin. And Christians are confused. Religion has no, no power over sin. The Bible tells us without the shedding the of the blood, there is no like the forgiveness <laughs> of sin. You know, we kiss the Holy Quran. Yes, yes. You Jesus kiss the Holy Quran. Yeah, but you're beating up your Bible. <laughs> you why? kiss the Holy Quran. Is that the book of God? That is why your lips are always getting dry. Because it was summer. a branch next time it's lightning. Hey. Don't you have a thing, my friend? You're going to be saved because you are Muslim, you are Hindus, you are Catholic. No. You must repent of your sin. Let me tell you this. Your days on earth are numbered. Yeah, he's going to an expiry date. Uh, you can preach now, when but you you'll buy, be in trouble. When you buy milk in a supermarket, you know what? I discovered something. Yeah. I used to You're go. Will you keep quiet? Are you a man? When I used to go to the supermarket, he's talking about milk now. When I go to the supermarket, I used to pick milk. Let's go to the same Let's go to the Don't worry. If you don't look at the date, you find that the milk might last for four days. But if you take, if you take milk from like a distant hidden at the bar, that date can last for. Might be even eight, ten days. How much? How much? But there is open your an eyes. expiry date of that milk. Open your eyes, man. Even milk. Anything you buy in a supermarket, milk. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Expiry date. Even you, my friend, you got expiry date. Is your eyes open? Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. You know, his Bible has expired. His Bible has expired. How can you say the Bible has expired? Yeah, because you are the Bible is the Bible. Because you are growing old. No. You be at his changing every week. Every week. I tell you, my friend, at least you repent of your sins. At least I have a beard like Jesus. He doesn't have a beard. I tell you, my friend, you can never have a transformation in your life if you keep on holding the Quran for a long time, or any Hindu's book, or Buddhist book, whatever book you hold. If your life, your heart is not changed, hell is your destination. You are deceived. You are deceived that you're going no, no, no. to Jannah. My friend, Jannah is not heaven where the God of Abraham, huh? Isaac, and Jacob live. Allah that is the difference God of everyone. Going to. Who was Muhammad? Who Muhammad? My Allah. friend, what is the name of your God? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You believe in Allah? Yes. He is burning in hell. No, he even, cri hey, even, even Christian, even Christian Arab, they say Allah. The God of Abraham, you know, Isaac, God. and Jacob. Order, order, order. We better be careful. The only true God. We better be careful. I'm not careful. If you want to be careful, we better be careful. Careful and say when we come, who is going to hell yes. and who is not going you, to sir. hell? Yeah. Because Jesus he be it, yeah. is you are the one who is going to, to hell. Right. Come and Good. think it. So is he. he. Is so we don't have to be Muhammad is in hell. Who is said? Muhammad is in hell. Who is in hell? Muhammad is in hell. He's morning over there. He's a liar. He's in hell. And Allah is not dying over there. He's morning over there. The evil that he has put on the world. Without Jesus, without Jesus, what are you going to go? go to if I don't care, what I care about is that Jesus Muhammad is in hell right now. Why? Yeah, that's the one you because want. he's the one that brought poison to the wall. Sure. Who? Who? Your prophet Muhammad. You're a liar. Yes, You're a big liar. He's, 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 he's the one that brought poison to the wall. Somebody call the ambulance. I know where you can get it. I don't see the doctor. I know where you can get it. I know where you can get it. 1,000 years, my tribe has been fighting against this evil religion. 1,000 years, my tribe has been fighting against this evil religion. Don't tell me about it. Through Jesus, not the Quran. 
No through Buddha. No through Muhammad. No through Hare Krishna. Muhammad Peter Fai. No through is closed. Islam, what is is your killer. You are dying. You are dying. You are dying. You 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 are You are You You that's why you cannot go to watch the guns of heaven. On the way you lie. But you need a passport to heaven. Jesus is a visa and a passport to heaven. He's a return in the Quran. Now, where is the beautiful Muhammad? Where is he now? He's in hell. 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 He's in my friend, you, if you die today, where are you going? Yes. Inshallah, Jannah. No. Oh, Inshallah. Even Muhammad. How yeah, do you go, my brother? My brother, my brother oh, listen. Oh, Muhammad you said is in his grave. Yeah, you said Jesus died. Yeah, Muhammad is not in heaven. You said Muhammad is in heaven. Have you got a visa to heaven? Muhammad is not in heaven. Muhammad is not in heaven. Muhammad is not in heaven. He's in hell. Oh, Muhammad. Why is your Quran? Which one? You are your fake Quran. Your fake Quran. You are a fake guy. Your fake scripture. You Where is it? You are a fake guy. You are swearing. I'm on a highway to hell. <laughs> highway to hell. Okay, guys, I'm moving. I, I feel like I am in hell when I'm here. I just want you all to know this. I want you to have it inside you that you've brought me to hell. I am in hell. I don't need Jesus. I'm already in hell. Actually, no, I, I actually need Jesus to get out of hell. Okay, guys. I hate myself. Um, let me see. Damn, all this time I didn't have my watermark. All that sweet, sweet footage is going to be stolen by some people without my watermark. And not even give me credit. I'm on a highway to hell. <clears throat> highway to hell. <clears throat> Forget stairways to heaven. We're on a highway to hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I'm looking around to see if I can see anything of any good, any interesting. Thank you, Cheeky Chops. Thank you, sir. Slim. I wish I was a bit more. Um, the coffee. God works in Costa. <laughs> the coffee. God works in Costa. God works in Costa. Costerious ways. Um, where are we? Uh, was that Prince Charming? I don't know who. who. 
What are we talking about? Prince Charming. So, uh, did you actually get anything? Yeah, I wanted you record me. Unfortunately, I was yeah, I was recording oh, them lot, but I can do it now. Yeah, what do you want? What do you want? I want uh, you know BGs. You would know BG. BG. Yes. Is that the guy with the fat the guy with the, 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 the? Oh, the BGs. The BGs. The BGs. Yes, Saturday Night yes. Live and all that. I yeah. Walk through uh, 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 and I want to have that for my YouTube. Okay. With the sound, just the sound. Can yep. I put that on? Well, you you have to you have to you can record the video and then add the sound of it. Do I add the sound? It depends on what video editing software you got. Are you, do you only edit on your phone, or do you edit? Yeah, that's basic. Phone. Okay, you need uh, you need some kind of basic editing software. Hold on. Can you do it? If I oh. do a walk. Oh, dude, I'm not gonna edit your videos. No, no. <laughs> You're worse than me, I think. No, okay. I'm just saying, if I walk through. Yeah. Yes, it's a few minutes, I think, uh, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you for got the sound you have only for a short video, isn't it? It's under one minute. Um, is it? yeah, you don't even need a minute. Just let me say hello, Susie. Come here, my love. How are you? I'm good. How are you? You're good. <laughs> you know the big nose. We've met before. Okay, what I would recommend is for you to get a video editing software. Hold on, hold on. I've got some here. Yeah, you see, it's called Video Maker. Where do I put that? Yeah, in the App Store, Video Maker. Get that. It's a free one. It's a good one. I mean, there's a bunch of other ones as well. I actually don't have it. What name? Video Maker. Get that app. And. Um, I type too many. Yeah, there you go. Uh, that one, that one, that one, that one. Oh, I stole it at home because I need some back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, get that, and that is a very good editor, and it allows music and stuff to be added. You're gonna just get some tutorials on on YouTube. Will you honor me then? I will record you, sir. Go on. I'll leave this somewhere. I'll come back in one moment. But you need your cam. You got your camera, right? No, need yours. yours. Oh, you want me to record and it? You, you send it. To and me. then I'll send it. Okay, okay, okay. So if I go from there, you know. Dramatize it, you know. I want to do the dancing because I want to hear the music with my. I can't give that to you to record me. I oh, I see. You want to have it in your ear so you have like exactly, a exactly the movement <laughs> so that it, it matches with it. It becomes very funny. I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay, so okay. Go like that, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's and do I it. The signal finish. I okay. Think, I okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, guys, we are now going to record some random, uh, random shit today. Um, so I'm going to place this here somewhere. Okay, it's going to be kind of boring for you guys because we're going to be recording um, the big nose of London doing his. He wants to do a BG style Saturday night. Um, staying alive, staying alive. I think it's staying alive, right? Staying alive, staying alive. <laughs> Staying alive. Yes. Any fit birds here? Dude, this is Speaker's Corner. Are you kidding me? Actually, no. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes there are some fit birds at Speaker's Corner. But I'm not entirely sure whether this will be the that moment. Okay, hold on. Because we're going to record it on a different camera. No, but do it the best you have. No, no. This is, my, this is the best I've got. Oh. <laughs> This is my streaming so, camera, but this is my main you, camera. You're going to put it there or in your hand? No, no, no. I'm going to hold it in my hand and I want to so, walk. You walk there. I want to do it through there. Oh, you want to move? So that trouble people, you know, do that. Okay, okay. But, but first, I want you to walk yes. towards me. Yes, yes. I'm going to record your feet because oh, that's okay. how it started with. with oh, you want to edit and all that? Yeah, yeah, then I can put it together. So you direct me then. How many minutes are I walk? Just, yeah, yeah, no. Just, because just, look, let me, if you hear the movie, we're just going to do about a minute. We're not going to do more than a minute. But that's so in your head. Do, from that's, there that's, to here yeah, a minute or? Yeah, no, no. Initially, just walk. Come here, come here. Okay, guys, hold on.
Okay, sorry guys, it's a bit boring. We're doing movies now. I went to the crowd. I don't know, too far, too far. You didn't have to go that far. <laughs> you made me. Okay, so okay. take this there. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is what's going to look. If, if Muslims say that everyone is born a Muslim, oh, is that why you're, you're asking? Uh, because you're okay. Yeah, but you do have a lot. Of no. That's what I'm saying. Why? Um, have you read the book? Yeah, I've read the Quran. Yeah, it took me three or four months. I used to read it every day on the train to work. That's, that's how I read the Quran. So, so, so I'll, 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 tell you, I'll tell you what I think. First of all, the, the Quran has been written by God. I'll tell you what the good things about the Quran. It isn't boring. It isn't boring. Because you read it. I, I don't think it's boring. Because when I was reading it, it's, you, 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 you constantly have this feeling of like, well, because I, I was reading it as a Christian. So there's what lots of references doing? in the Quran that are talking directly God to me, not saying, yes, you know, yes. you're yes. doing this, 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 Arguing, you know, arguing. and then you get to like sort of you created all you are a comedian. You are a comedian. Yes, I am a comedian. Exactly. What's that got to do with anything? So you're a bunch of bullies. No, God is a bully. Come on, argue with this. If you don't believe God is a bully and a Satan, why did God create the world? God created all of this. I think it's there's a debate over like is it Donkey or Mule? I think it doesn't make sense. I can't find any. 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 I can't find any
<laughs> Cut it off! Cut it off, Danny! Danny, I can I can circumcise you right now. Hold on, I've got a pen knife. Oh! Like Abraham did. Exactly. No, 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 he wants he wants it all cut off. He wants it all cut off. Because he doesn't want any more children. Come here. So why is God believing? You see me on this one. Because God created God created this world according to those who follow him. Well, knowing that all of these terrible things are going to happen, and he created it anyway. What on earth is he thinking? Well, what on earth that must it? make God a sadist yeah. and a mass murderer. God okay. is responsible for every single death. So therefore, God is the <laughs> ultimate mass murderer. What makes you think that? Well, it's obvious. <laughs> it's obvious. Prove well, me wrong. I'm looking at obvious. Prove me wrong. But I don't see a sadist. Prove me wrong. Prove, uh, prove me wrong. Okay. I, if God knew, let me let me ask you a question. If you knew mm -hmm. that your child, you knew 100 percent your child was yeah. going to be a a a, a, a uh, sexual predator and yeah. a child molester, yeah. would you have them? Would you create a child if you knew there was going to be a sexual molester? Uh, if I knew he would actually have the tendency you to knew, become one? No, no, not tendency. If you knew that your child was going to end up molesting yeah. children, yeah. other children, yeah. would you have them? I would say I would build them to a character where no, this wouldn't no, even no, happen. No, 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 no. No, I have a choice. the question. Huh? If you knew that your child was going to be yeah. a molester yeah. and a murderer, yeah. would you have the child? Uh, I would still have the child because why? You, you sick can motherfucker. What? You are a language. sick motherfucker. Language. Yes, I'll use whatever language I want. <laughs> language. This is speaker's corner. Language. You sicko. Oh. You would have a child. This man yeah, so yeah. would have a child. Yeah. If he knew that child was going to yeah. be a child molester and a murderer, and he'd have the child anyway. Because I have That's the how sick you are. I have the opportunity the to change him. Have I have the no, opportunity knew, to change him. Knew, yes. That's what I'm trying to say. Yes. If you knew he was going to be, <laughs> and you could if I knew, him. I know I'm not no, God. Can't change anyone. I am not God. No. I do not know the future. Man. God knew. God knew. God how knew. Did you, how? God knew how? that they were going to be murderers. How? Because he knew how? what was going to happen in the future. How? That's how God. What makes you say that? To your what makes you say that? God created the world, and yeah. God is all powerful and could yeah. see what's going to happen yeah. in the future. Yeah. yeah, but that does not mean that I can't make changes on him. Can I treat? Can I make him uh, be a better person? No, yes, I'm I can. I'm asking you a simple question. Simple question. A, a simple question. Very yes simple. Or no. If you knew your Why child everything was going to be a murderer and a child molester, would you go ahead and have sex with a woman if you knew that the result of that sexual intercourse was going to create a murderer and a child molester? Why? Yes or no? Why? Answer the question, yes or no. Why does everything have to be yes or no? Well, it's a very simple question. <laughs> Why? Would you do There's it a grey zone. There's a grey zone. zone. There's, no there's a grey zone. zone. There's a grey zone. No grey zone. You are a grey zone. Imagine there's a grey zone, zone. Black one. Imagine warm. you're in a bed. There's a woman there, and you know for sure that a murderer and a child molester is going to be created look, by that look, access. Look, grey zone, white zone, black zone, grey and white. Yeah, everything. You can't answer the question. There's, answer there's a lot of grey. There's a lot of grey. knew that they were going to be great murderers and your opinion. cancer and that is created your the opinion. world anyway. Your that opinion. That makes God a safe. Your opinion. So what? Exactly. So what? Let me ask you a question. It doesn't make any difference. Yeah. Let me ask you guys, if you knew that your child was yeah. going to be a child molester, would you have them? Would you create them? If you knew for sure? No one can know, sir. Huh? No one can know. I can't hear you. No one can know that. No, but I'm saying if you knew. If you knew. If you knew. No, it makes sense. How does it make sense? How do you mind? If you knew. If you knew that you would be a child. Because God knew. God knew what was going to happen. God knew. And he created the world anyway. Why? Because he's evil. God is the ultimate evil. God is a rapist, a murderer. Why? Evil, disgusting, because he created because he created this world with all the bad things. What for? What the hell did he do it for? He's my 
must be a sick man. You are, you are a sicko. You are a pessimist. The ultimate in sickness. God is the ultimate in sickness. He is a pessimist. pessimist. Yes, I am a pessimist. I'm that's a realist. That's your issue. I'm a realist. That is your issue. Yeah, because I don't your like issue. cancer. I your don't issue. like child molesting. I don't like all those things. But you I do. But you like justice. Worship. You like I justice. Do. Worship a God. Do you like justice? Justice, yes. There isn't why, any why, justice. Why do you like justice? There isn't any justice. <laughs> why do you, why do There's you like no justice in the world. Why do you like justice? Can I, why, can I say, why can I say, like can I say something? Sure. Why you don't blame the devil? You blame the God. devil? Yeah. Who created okay. the freaking devil in the first place? No, God created us. Yes, and the okay. devil. Okay, God created us. Yes. Okay. And where did the devil come from? Okay, God created us. Yes. Okay. Yes. To, to willing to do good. But we choose to do evil. We oh, choose to do evil. Right. Oh, okay. don't give me that. God, 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 as long as he destroys all evil, yes. I'd like, I'd like it if he destroys all evil. evil. We should listen to the guy who does evil? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. No. Exactly. So, so why don't listen to me. To don't, don't listen to, to me. You Answer the, the question. <laughs> wait, hold on. Yeah, I, I know, but listen, so, guess what? So I'm he's not the guy, you're the guy. Anyway, I'm, 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 I don't like speaking to people who are asking. You are blaming God for the evil that you are doing. This guy wants God to destroy you. No, I'm not blaming God. Yes, I blame God for all evil. No, I'm not blaming God, but I am blaming God. I can't make up my mind. I blame God for all the evil in the world. That's right. Because he created. This is what I'm trying to understand. I'm asking all of you. If you knew, if you knew your child was going to be a child molester, would you create them? God bless you. Would you create a child? God bless you. If you knew for sure that your child was going to be a child molester, God bless you. Get some optimism. Yeah, you're not coming to. I bet you're not coming. Get some optimism. Would you, would you create a child if you knew the child was going to be a child molester? But God gave you free will. So I don't. Why did God give us free will? He should never have given because us free will. Because He didn't want us to be robots. He never have given us free but God give, but the, the thing is, why did He create? No, no, because because you got to listen. God created the angels and the demons first, oh, right. and they didn't have a free will. They oh. they have to obey God. Right. The angels don't have free will. Did you get all this nonsense from the Bible. <laughs> it's the Bible. <laughs> I'm just giving you the Bible. Re so, look. Look, look, excuse look, look. me, Danny, excuse Danny, me, Danny, excuse Danny, me, Danny. I know, I Danny, I know. In the original. What I'm trying to tell you, terrible. Danny, Danny. I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to tell you is, Danny, Danny. From a Christian perspective of the devil and God and Bible, or angels and demons, from that perspective. Now you can, you know, change to other other religious perspectives, but from that perspective, God created human beings to be unique amongst His creation because He'd already created things that didn't have free will yes. and I don't know maybe he was yeah. bored <laughs> exactly yeah maybe he was bored. so he created us with free yeah, will unlike the other creations yeah, what was gonna happen so what the hell was he doing are you sure I mean it, the thing is okay there is a paradox of omniscience I knew that my children are gonna end up as murderers and, and rapists I would never have had them but the thing is okay so why did God you have the to world knowing we just had a that by giving them free will Sorry. they should never have given them free will what for so that they could go and murder but, but, and rape? But then, but then, the uh, ultimate but no, but no, but if that was the case, worship him. I'm disgusted. But Danny, but Danny, put in jail for the rest of. But Danny, if I that was the case, you, there would be no humanity. You are a bad comedian. You're a bad comedian. I should put you in jail. <laughs> exactly. For the crime of <laughs> the crime of being a very bad comedian. <laughs> for, no, no, but but Danny, Danny. The fact is that God already did create things that couldn't do those things that couldn't kill and murder. And he got bored. Yeah. Oh, so he made he made us. <laughs> he made a bunch of fucking rapists and murderers. Excuse me. Anyway, I'm offering 500 pounds to anyone today. For for what? If you can justify bringing some on into existence, I'll give you 500 Yeah, I'll, I'll give it. Go on, then. Allah, maybe. Um, Allah, Allah, don't give me that rubbish. What are you talking about? That's not just 500 Someone into existence. So, easy 500.
because he loves us to be in relationship with him. And he oh, made does us he? Yeah. Oh, really? So what created everything that we see? So you uh, seem quite intelligent. It's, it's one thing, basically. Guys, pessimism is brutal on this guy. But unfortunately, the poor guy needs to be jailed for one reason only. He's a very, very bad comedian. That's it. He's not the messiah. He's a very naughty boy. Exactly. <laughs> From God? No. You ever shown him? There's no rubbish. There's no such thing as unconditional okay. love. So you see this creation, you know, yeah. with your eyes. It's disgusting, this creation. Is it's it? disgusting. Well, yeah. Was it, was it this is all a lie. Was it's it all deception because this all looks very nice. But nature is the ultimate liar and conspirator. So because so underneath this veneer of, is there, of beauty. Is there and O's? Is, no, underneath this veneer of beauty is horrible predation and animals killing each other and eating each other. Right, all of this is disgusting. Yes, I am. Right, all of this is vile because God is the ultimate sadist. God is the ultimate evil to create this, where, knowing where that there were going to be murderers, that people are going to get so cancer. Without, how sick is that? Without, how sick is that without, to create the world? Without free will, how can we express love? Oh, don't give me this free will bullshit. Let me ask you a question, right? You, you, you guys that are apologists for God, here's a question. If you knew... That, if can you I knew, one minute, you? if you, gonna you, can, you can pray for me. Yeah, Dear God, love and heavenly Father, yeah, thank you. please soften this right. man. God in heaven? God's not in heaven. God's a, God, God should be in prison, never God's mind heaven. But hold on, he was, he was right getting into a point. This is a point on a circle. I'm, I'm only here for a little bit and I need, I need that talk to you. <laughs> Stealing the sweets of children. Okay, Danny, one thing I wanted to say, that don't you think that without the evil there would be no good? Don't you feel, do you, first of all, do you agree that there is also good in this? But, no, 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 do you agree? I, I, I detest evil. But do you agree that there is good in this, but do you, but do you agree that there is good in this world? Yes, there is good. Do you, do you believe that the love of your children, the love of your wife is good? Not my wife, she drives me mad. 31 years I've been with that woman. <laughs> But do you believe her love is good? <laughs> it's not bad at times. And your children's love? What about their love? Well, what I'm trying to tell you is that without, if you, if you, no, but you, no but you, but there's so much suffering and so much cruelty and rape and murder and madness. And there's also so much love and caring and, and, and empathy. And hey, hey, compensate hey, for the I evil. Say, can I just say something? I'm an atheist, right? I don't believe in any of these stories. They're all rubbish, right? But that's bollocks. <laughs> that's bollocks. Why? Why can you say that somebody is a god? god somebody believes. For me, I'm an atheist. But if these people or you want to believe in your god, I don't that's believe great. God. Not do I. Right. But that's not. That's not right. Why? Why isn't it right? That's not. Why god, is? Because God why create, is, God. Because the God. But there's of no people, god. There's no I god. Understand? But no I'm talking about the god of these people's understanding. No, 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 no. How can Their I? God. How can I? How can I judge? These people, when I don't believe in their God, because because they believe in their I God. Can't, I can't do that. They believe. Listen, in their God. this man, this man, this man, whatever their God is, yes. that's their choice. No, it's not their choice. It is their no, choice. No, it's not. Not if it leads to evil. No. Yes. It is their choice. Yes. No. Guys, these people I, are I worshiping have... the devil. No, they're because not. God is the devil. God you... created the devil. Then you're. Well, you know, but if you don't believe in a God, then how do you believe in a devil? Doesn't matter what I am. <laughs> Let me, let me just say, I'm not an atheist, no, 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 no. I'm you an atheist. No, that's bullshit. I'm an atheist, you don't even know what so that is. Yes, I do. What is an atheist? I almost, be I almost believe in something. No, it's apathetic to the question of the no, no. existence of God. Guys, let me I'm tell not you. really interested in whether God exists or not. Let me tell you, I'm, I'm an atheist. God of your, your God is your God. And I respect that. Why? With all Why my heart, respect it? I respect it. I don't I believe it, but I respect it. It's your belief. I don't respect it. I don't, I don't believe in a God, but that's right. right. Someone once said, someone once yeah. said, I don't believe in a God. No. Someone once said to me, I just advocate for one. Yeah. Someone once said that you have the right to say what you want. I may not agree, but I will defend until I die your right to say. Why don't you defend until you die the right for me to say God is the ultimate? I never said that. You should but, but, I don't believe, but I don't believe that God is that simple. Yeah. That's too simplistic. As long as you're open, as long as you're open to people disagree. Yeah, of course. There's nothing wrong with you putting that. You want to put that? No, he can is. do that, but as far as I'm concerned, it's bullshit. Yeah. It's too. It's it's a, it's a far too simplistic. Right to do it. I don't have a problem. 
The thing is, Danny, I, I fear your philosophical grounding in that statement is not clear. No. What's not clear not. about it? You, because, as I said, you haven't thought it through. It's an ill-thought-out statement. To you. I mean, I don't know what's clear. Because, because as, as, I as I was trying to explain to you, that you, do you believe that, that, that every... Do you believe in God? Why do you make that statement? No, no. That, that statement is... Because, because I believe... About the God of people. Mm. The people I'm going to call Abbott somewhere <laughs> Because... No. In other words, let me, if, let, let, let me put it this way, right? The idea of a God that is omnipotent and that is all-knowing and that knew what was going to happen before it created the reality, that idea, that God is a rapist, a murderer, a sadist, and evil, pure evil, because it knew what was going to happen. In other words, if I knew that by pressing a button I'd be creating a world that was going to lead to what this world led to, I would never, ever, ever, ever dream of doing that. Right? If I knew that my child was going to be a rapist or a murderer or, or, a, or, you know, or, or a child trafficker, I would never, I would never, ever, ever create the child. Furthermore, Christian apologists, yeah, say that all the bad shit that happens in the world is because we humans make bad decisions, yeah. But why does God allow that to happen, right? If my, if I had a child, and I do, right? If one of my, if I found out one of my children was trafficking ch other children, yeah, I would get, I would, I would have them put in jail or even killed. I would stop that. I would not allow that to happen under, under the under the argument. Oh, I've given my child freedom of choice, and he can choose what he wants to do now. No. And so, if God is all powerful and and created the world, knowing what's going to happen, and allows it to go on and on and on and on, it must be a sick. It's it's because you're not thinking of the wider picture. That's the problem. I think wider you're, picture. I think yeah. With your, with your child example, if you think of if you think of. The way that you, please, uh, no, no, no. It's, uh, if the way, it's, if the way that you, uh, rate, I don't know how old your children are, but if the way that you raise your children, at times you know, that, at times you know that you need to allow them to learn from mistakes yes, and intervene. But not but and not think, mistakes like that, my friend. But I think not mistakes like child abuse or rape or yeah, murder, yeah, yeah. ongoing murder or rape. No, yeah, yeah, I would not. Yeah, it's a good point. But you, not, you're not there all the time. Maybe they're not close to you all the time. If they, the Bible, it's good as the Bible and Quran and all these books. If people are close to God, then they're not going to be doing these things. If they're not close to God, then they're choosing to go and do what they want. So what? And therefore, so what? They, Why does God know. allow that to happen? Yeah, it's, it's horrible. It's, it's absolutely horrible. That's because God is a sadist. Make, make, make. sadist. Yeah. I understand that. I, I understand your point of view. I don't agree with it, but I understand it. I, no, I don't because around, so I don't have time to get yeah. into the conversation. <laughs> yeah, enjoy yourself. It's yeah. because, Danny, you're not thinking on a well, universal change, scale. Change it to your idea of a God is. I'm taking a break. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, thank you, Danny. We'll see you next time. <laughs> uh, Banksy so well. I mean, my channel is half as reflex. Oh, okay. Around here, people call me Banksy. I've been on your show once or twice when you did the live streams. <laughs> Love your work. Love your work. I'm not so. <laughs> Okay, guys and girls, here we are again. We're at the, the what is this? I have no idea. I will stand, I will send you back to your camels and liberate the Ummah. I have no idea what this is. Well, it is uh, what it is. Okay. We, um, let me flip this back to me. Saturday night live, our Saturday night fever moment with the, with the big nose. Now I have to go and edit shit for him. He's literally, high, he's, like, he's coasting me into his personal editor. Ah, uh, Cloth the King, Kingdom. Okay, hello Cloth. Uh, ask him about Charlie Veach. Oh, yes, he knows Charlie. I know, I know. You're right, man. One big... No uh, one knows the warrior of the big Uma. Oh, I see. Uh, oh, it's a cloth. The, the Klingon. <laughs> the Klingon prawn star. <laughs> that's, that's a heck of a name. 
divested sister, hello, hello. Uh, just grateful, cheeky chops. Uh, okay, who is it? You got kind. You got a kind heart, Banksy. Thank you. Yeah, because you're God at because uh, you're good at it. I see. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I'm reading maybe these uh, these texts out of context. But I should have asked him about Charlie Veach. You're right. Let me uh, let me go actually find him again, quickly. Let me see if I can grab him for a minute and see if we can actually get um, a thing, maybe a, a quick little speech. How's it going, Jamie? How's things? So, so any 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 good action today? Uh, just speaking to uh, Bloodfire of oh, what yeah. his particular gripes with. Uh, Catholics and Orthodox are. Oh, okay. Uh, and they're very into that, the whole, like, um, uh, what do you call it, um, sola scripture stuff. So only the Bible is the, is the true way to understand oh, I see, God, I rather see. than the traditional institution. But then, why was he having to go with Bob? Because Bob isn't really a Catholic or any institution or Christian. Well, yeah, Bob's very idealistic. He wants to bring together Orthodox, oh, Catholics, and Protestants. And he has gone on saying that. Um, apparently it is okay to pray to the saints or Mother Mary oh, and stuff like that. Okay. And that's the real gripe that Bloodfire has, is that you're, you're corrupting you're, you're, Christians. Yeah, that you're way. heathen, <laughs> heathenistic. <laughs> you are, uh, by the way, is it heathen or, um, uh, what's, the, what's the word? No, I think it's heathen. Is it, is it heathen? No. Um, oh man, what's the word when someone steps out of that, out of uh, religion? Like A heretic. Her heretic, heresy, exactly. He's, he's having heretical co conversations. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. These guys, I think, I think there's enough I think, I think, like, they're, problems they're, in this they're, world. Yeah, there are more important things that are more important hills to die on. Exactly. I mean, this is what I mean. It's like, why is uh, John like so insistent to die on that particular hill? Because, like, dude, you look around you. This country is half infested with freaking <laughs> these Islamists. They're marching up and down the streets every Saturday. You're worried about whether Bob is talking about the saints? Holy crap! You guys got yeah. some mess. The priorities. And, and, and despite all the flaws of the Orthodox and Catholics, at least they do a better job at fighting back against exactly, the exactly. They're the, pushing back well, against wokeism. The, the, they're the pushing church, back against the Church of England has completely yeah, been uh, taken folded over. like a fucking house of cards. Exactly. Uh, yeah, that's what I mean. At least the Catholics are also the the um, like Baptists and all these guys. At least they're pushing back a little bit. The the the, 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 the Anglican Church is, is pussified. It's unbelievable. They've got rainbow fucking flags and shit in the churches I mean, now. At least the Anglican church in Africa does better. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, but that's because of the, yeah. the society is still very conservative. Uh, that's why they don't they don't care. Did you see that video uh, of this African uh, preacher talking to a reporter talking about we uh, the guy was like oh, is it okay that you think that uh, homosexual and uh, gay marriage should be banned in this country and they're like yes because we consider it an abomination <laughs> because homosexuality is an abomination in in uh, in, um, in in this country and uh, what else did he say he said um, you know it's uh, but uh, the reporter said to him but you know the he says the people that uh, are go against homosexuality a lot tend to have homosexual desires themselves and he said that's ridiculous it's like saying anyone who fights terrorism has to be a terrorist <laughs> and then the guy says do you, so do you compare uh, homosexuality to terrorism he says yes it's sexual terrorism <laughs> holy shit <laughs> yeah it is dysgenic it does uh... that dude was fucking based <laughs> I mean there was like no way he was gonna yield on this shit <laughs> I think that's a great thing is like you see like these uh, only like intellectuals can get themselves dogmatically into yeah, these yeah. farcical um, I mean don't get me wrong and, uh, and these Africans just say it bluntly as yeah, it is yeah they're just they're still old school but the thing is don't get me wrong I still think yes I love the homosexuals I love the gays we love the gays gays for Palestine so yes we love the gays at the Harvest Reflex channel yeah, we, like, we like Douglas Murray we love Douglas Murray we love Simon um we love. Uh, We're just not pro LGBTQ. Yeah, Sophia Lewis. We love. We love the gays. We're not talking about that. We don't love the gays, but some of these Africans are pretty based. 
<laughs> no denying that shit. <laughs> the baseness of some of these fucking Africans. Uh, what's your opinion about Israeli bombing that uh, Iranian embassy? Uh, uh, well, look, as much as I despise the Iranian government and any, any uh, subsidiaries of them, um, I'm only concerned that the Israel's attack on that embassy, although they did kill one of the like the third highest rank like general or whatever, uh, is going to escalate this. Uh, the escalation is what I'm concerned about. This is going to bring in Britain. It's going to bring in America, because America and Britain, if if, if one single Iranian troop sets foot on Israeli soil or in Gaza. This shit's gonna it's gonna be a shit storm. It's gonna be a shit storm. I mean, this is a self-serving statement, but I don't want World War Three because I enjoy life <laughs> and I like to keep on living for a few more years. <laughs> what do you think? It does uh, sound like they're getting desperate. They know that they're losing the propaganda war, so they're probably thinking like, well, better to do it now than later, you know. Maybe, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I, I still support Israel's mission in trying to get rid of Hamas, but I think that as the longer this particular um, conflict goes on in Gaza, the less and less Israel is going to have support. They are the support is weaning. They need to. I mean, it's coming up to six months now. They really do need to wrap this shit up pretty quickly and get those hostages and get them out of Gaza. But I, I mean, I just think Israel is a bit frivolous with their bombing campaign. You know, they're not like. Like the way Mossad was saying, oh, they got it wrong and they bombed that um, that convoy, the, the aid convoy accidentally. Yeah, well, you should double check that shit. <laughs> you, know? you know that every time you kill an innocent, it's going to be like plastered all over the social media. It's going to be plastered all over the liber liberal media. You know that this shit is going to backfire on you like 10 times. It's a, it's a tricky one because um, I think that drone strike when it was nighttime and so they couldn't see the logo to show it wasn't innocent. You know what I mean? Uh, they, what do you mean? Could, these shit have night vision. Fucking night. I can get a piece of shit phone with night vision on it. <laughs> from from O2. <laughs> I think there was also an issue. They thought there was like a um, high uh, standing Hamas leader that they thought was in the thing. But yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. This, it's this, bad look. Yeah, it's a, it's a bad, bad look. And, and again... And, and, you know, there's some like... Very nasty Zionists on certain um, uh, social uh, social media. media accounts that just um, completely denigrate the victims of this. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I know there are assholes on both sides. There is no way that there are no assholes, uh, Israelis and and other sort of Israelis, Israel supporters that say and do fucked up shit. Well, There's I, I, I plenty will of. I say them. this. Um, I think it's very hi hypocritical that um, the left um, are saying, "Oh, now look back in anger." You know. Yeah. Like, like, oh, not when it's like a terrorist that. Well, Exactly. We know that I have kids. Yeah. You know, yeah literally, like children in Manchester died, and they're like, "Don't look uh, back in anger." But apart, you know, like these guys who are aid workers, they knew that they're going into a place that was risky and all that stuff. So. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, every anyone who enters Gaza is fully aware that they're entering a hot war zone. <laughs> And, and let's, let, I mean, the thing is, this is something I actually didn't get a chance to say uh, on my stream, which was the amount of blue on blue attacks in America during, uh, sorry, in, in, in Iraq during the American British sort of invasion. It was huge. <coughs> Nobody lost their shit over that. Everybody was all hunky dory when, when Americans were killing British soldiers. So I'm not justifying, I'm not saying that these things don't happen, but. For, for Israel to do it, it's, it's 10 times worse right now, because this is a very politically charged event. Yeah, like Israel, you're going to need all the allies you can get, you know. <laughs> exactly, exactly, yeah, yeah, no, it's, um, it's a shit show, it's a shit show and it's going to get worse the longer it goes on. Um, they really do need to start to basically put all their effort into getting those hostages, uh, because you know there's still like a baby that's like under a year old, still with the Hamas fighters. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. I mean, if you're if you're if you're fighting for your freedom, this is not the way. This is not the fucking way. I don't think, as I said, I don't think uh, Nelson Mandela would approve. <laughs> so yeah, okay, guys, that's our little convo about Israel Palestine. Let's see what else is going on in this shit show. What do you think?
Well, this dude is trying to electric scoot m m skateboard his way through this shit. What, what the fuck are you doing? Just pick it up, man. Pick it up. <laughs> What's he doing? He's trying, to, he's trying to maneuver his way through this shit. <laughs> what is wrong with him? There you go. There you go. He finally fucking picked it up and walked away. Just pick it up and go, you asshole. <laughs> God damn! People are idiots. Yeah, some people don't know what the fuck's going on at uh, Speaker's Corner on a Sunday. They think they can just waltz up here with that little electric skateboard and waddle through. Uh, look, we got the usual Mark, Mark, Marxists over there. Marxists, Marxists. Are you talking about um, Dusty? Yeah, the guy in the grey hat. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, the one who hassles Bob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I find him uncomfortably weird. <laughs> he is a little bit unusual. Okay. Okay, guys, we're walking. Uh, there's some eggs. There's been eggs thrown. Aha! Hold on. Uncle Omar is giving Omar is giving people some shit. Okay, guys, we're gonna we're gonna see what's going on with the uh, haiku haiku. But they're the most persistent. Right. And they find a way, you know, the judge, I remember sitting in one court case, which I lost, unfortunately. Well, I lost after the second hearing, second, uh, in the high court, I lost. And, uh, sorry? Representing yourself. In the first hearing, the funny thing is, I represented myself in the, in the Crown Court, in the, in the County Court. Not Crown, County Court. It was a civil case, housing case. And I, lo I lost, but I only just lost. So the judge gave me leeway, which was a semi-victory in terms of the previous judgments. And it left the company who were trying to evict me in trouble. And then I appealed, and they also appealed, uh, counter-appealed. But then in the High Court, which is where it went to next, uh, they had a ferret of a barrister who just kept coming back. And the judge hated them. But they kept raising, oh, what about... Nat West versus so and so. What about, you know, this was a housing case and they raised legal issues. I think you're at the, at the court hearing. They raised legal issues about commercial rental agreements, uh, including Nat West versus so and so and uh, Heathrow Airport and um, Victoria train station. It was about your right to be. And she just kept on and the judge was overwhelmed with all these cases that she was referring to. And my barrister, I don't want to say directly, but uh, I, didn't, I didn't think he was any good. Uh, 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 and, and, and he was very weak in his argumentation. He didn't push like she did. So, you know, he was gonna lose. And it wasn't about whether I was right or not. It wasn't about the correctness or not. It was about you know, the determination of their barrister. Yeah. Probably they're getting paid more. Yeah. You know. well, there you go. Case and who knows sense. what else is going on in the background? Yeah. You know? Yes. And uh, I don't know, but I, thinking back on it now, I don't want to besmirch this individual, but uh, I didn't feel comfortable with my defence. You know, I felt had I defended myself, I would have done better. Yes. Yeah. But they have a way. If you do that, then the courts turn around, the judge will turn around and say, you're defending yourself yes, I do. in the high court. <laughs> How do you think you're going to do that? In the county court, the judge was actually a bit more amenable. He, he was kind of pleased, you know. Oh, he's defending himself. I could give him a leeway like that. And he used it against the barrister because it's a game they play, you know. The judge is there, the barrister's there, it's a game, a theatre for them. Now in Parliament, it's the same thing. The parliamentarians are engaged in a game to present themselves, to project themselves, to advance themselves. But they don't really, as you say, 
most of the time, they don't really care about what the issues are. And in fact, the whip system is designed to promote that because after all, you know, the whip on the Tory side and the whip on the Labour side means that you're taking a stance on legislation where you haven't gone through every single line of the argument and even if you have you probably don't agree with it and it's usually you've certainly not done the background reading and it's usually and therefore, determined by zionists as well well we'll come on Let's to that in a few minutes they, they, run, they, they have absolutely usually i wouldn't the say but, they, but we had a discussion before this holocaust against the palestinians was begun before this genocide against the palestinians and I argued at the time, as you pointed out, and you pointed out, I said, well, Israel's a tiny place, it's not that, how wrong I was, you know, how wrong I was. Because at the time we'd been through, well, there was the war in Ukraine, there was the, uh, the conflict in, uh, over COVID. And I thought, well, if they try and make that into a big issue, they, you know, it's been dragging on for decades and decades. And suddenly out of the blue, we have this barbarism. And, and, it, and although it does expose the enormous influence of the Israel lobby over Western political organizations, so-called democracies, who are supporting, you know, they went on about Ukraine and Russia's a dictatorship and Putin's a fascist. But what we've seen in Gaza in six months outstrips any of the violence that has been carried out in the war in Ukraine and by a mile and a half yeah. every single instance yeah. and all on television sorry not by, not by brutality rates, though. in I mean, scale in speed and scale yeah, it's far worse than what has happened in Ukraine sorry what half a million yeah okay so I've got a long half a million what half a million that, that, I don't know how many have died. I haven't seen the statistics. Apparently a lot of people have died. But these are nearly all... I, I don't know how many have died, but I think they're nearly all soldiers. Perhaps you can look it up. I don't know. But it's nearly all soldiers, and it's nowhere near the scale of attacks on civilians, children, women, that it is in Gaza. I think in the whole period of the war in Ukraine, you gave a figure, I don't know whether it's accurate or not, but certainly in terms of children and women killed, there's nothing like that taking place in Ukraine. And so clearly the fascist Putin is not prepared to use the same level of violence that the democratic Netanyahu and Israel is against totally innocent people. And they know they're innocent. They know they're killing them. They know they're going to kill them. Just one sec. And this story this week, World Kitchen, where they blew up three of the Western-supported charity uh, food supplies. I saw an interview with someone, I think it was with Israeli intelligence in the past. And he was saying, this is all AI-driven. Yes. So they got artificial intelligence. Feet is called a lavender. Artificial intelligence of all names, lavender, you know, <laughs> make it smell lovely. That's what it is. So the, the artificial intelligence feeds to the Israeli button pusher. Are they men or women? It, as far as we male, know, male voice or female voice? Is male or female voice? Are they in 20 seconds? They make a decision. Fire, fire, fire. And that's how Israel Fights they hide war. behind backed by the Americans. They hide behind victims. Backed by the British. The Jews hide behind Backed by the Germans. And they, and, by the and they go around and they are the most callous, the inhumane. The, inhumane. the Jews hide the Jews hide behind the, the, well, it is the Jews. It is the Jews, because it's the Jewish lobby. It is the Jews. It's not It is the Jews. It is the Jews. It is yeah, the Zionist Jews. Well they're Jews. Well the Zionist Jews are Jews. It's not the Jews. You're the, you're the minority. No, I'm not Jewish. the minority. You, you are. You minority. are. You are. Go I'm to any Jewish business. They Jewish. send their money no, no, no. to. No, no, no. They, 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 they do. They do. It, it is. It is Jewish. There are plenty of Jews. Judaism is a religion, just like Christianity is a religion. 
We're talking yes, about it is. Israel. Of course it is. Israel. Of course it is. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Hurry. And so it is. It is. Not the Jews. The during, Jews. During the COVID thing, to, it's in, in absolute right. impunity. 70, 80 percent of, of the population Jews. supported the hysteria and the attacks on our rights. Do we condemn 70 to 80 percent? We can say they were wrong, but we don't condemn them and keep attacking them. I saw in the news a couple of days ago that some 65% of the Israeli population believe they have the right to cut off all food supplies to the people in Gaza. Now, something like 65% or more are support, of Israelis are supporting that. Now, I don't know, but I, it was reported, it was reported, one minute, one minute, it was reported by who I believe is a relatively accurate source and that was by John Mersheimer, who's been a relatively really accurate source throughout the war in Ukraine right. and the war in and the war in, um, in, uh, in, in or the war on the people of Gaza. So I think it's probably accurate. That doesn't mean it's a fixed phenomenon. Yeah, people's minds change, but even then that would leave 35% who don't agree with this. And as I said, people's minds change. So I think the condemnation of Jews is a meaningless, and yes, it is anti-Semitic because it's not correct well, that the Jews. Semitic, it's not they're, correct. They're it's not correct Europe, that the so Jews. They're not, they're not that the Jews. Well, but in this sense, so that you understand, they've hijacked a term for is, censorship. Yes, yeah, but in this sense, the censorship of industrial you, conflict was started you by the ADL. But as you that understand, all these Jewish companies is, have, have tried to is, stop free is, speech, is, and is, that's a fact. That's a fact. Sorry, and you can't call me anti-Semitic because your Jewish ancestors enslaved my black ancestors. That's not wrong. It's just a fact. It's, it's a fact. It's, it's, it's a fact. It's a fact. It's a fact. So I'm not. So I'm not here for the Jews. We're not here for it anymore. I think you this morning. What? Show that 88 percent of Israelis support the war. 88 percent of Israelis support the war. Oh, well, yes. Netanyahu brought us the weapons but of mass destruction. However, 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 no. The majority of British Project people. for the New American Century. Look at who was behind. Look at all, of, all Jewish. The Jews run our democracies and they have absolutely destroyed the integrity of our democracy. That's Jewish power and influence. Well, how about, how about America? How about American, how about America? How about American Christian power then? What about, what about American Christian Let's talk about Christians. Nixon was, is on record in what, 1972. What, what, do so, what do you mean when you say. The Jews. I mean, Jewish influence. That they, they, they run the banks in that country, China, the central banks, right? China, so they print they them. The banks. And mostly over. It just doesn't matter what you call it. You, you can call it Zionist. You can call it. It's Jews. Like you said Jews. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I so say Jews. I mean? prefer this. I, what do you I mean, mean, answer the question. The Jewish lobby in America. Right, you want to call it the Israeli lobbyists? That's Jews. Let's be honest, right? Okay. So, you, so, so those Jews. Do you draw, on, so those Jews who do not agree. What category do they fit into? Yeah, as I said, there, there, there's always going to be exceptions to rules. On, so what category do they fit in? Have you been on this demonstration? No, I have, have you yeah. been, Well, then you know there's a Jewish section yeah. of a thousand yeah, there Jews. Are of, there are a minority of Jews. I've been on so it is I agree. Not, I, I support a lot of those. Lot of but those. if a minority right. exists amongst the Jews, then it's not the Jews. Yes. Not yes. the Jews. Right. Right. Well, it means I'm not a layer of the Jews. It's, 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 it's semantics. It's semantics at all. It is. It's, yeah. it's like saying. Let me ask it's you like a saying, question. It's like saying. It's like saying. Like a minute ago, you were implying. I'll come back to this one second. A minute ago, you were implying. Well, you did such and such to enslave with the ancestors. It's like saying all Brits are responsible for slave trade. You know the slave trade or no. or or the empire. When you look at when now, it's perfectly true. The, the large numbers of white Brits feel offended when you attack them in that way. Right, and I Justifiably. Because it isn't all Brits. Or, or, or you remember Ishmael used to sometimes rhetorically stand at Speaker's Corner. He'd say, you whiteies, do this. Right? And it would gather a crowd. It would get attention. I've been called a And you'd have a good argument. Yeah. And you'd have a tension in the audience. And then he would turn and I said to him, what, you say, all white people. He goes, yeah, and he said, well, maybe, not you. Malcolm X, he said, May, maybe you put, you, you got a, 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 a sack full of snakes. You don't put your hand in there in the first place. That's right, what he said. Right, right. So, okay, so it was, you know, it's a good rhetorical point to make. But in actual fact, it undermines your argument. Yes. Because if you say every Jew 
is responsible. We, you have Jews who spent their life fighting against this. Right? So it clearly is not every Jew. There's a differentiation between the Jews. And by the way, I agree there's a difference. By the way, the, biggest heroes are Jewish, the reason why Israel is able to carry out the barbarity it does is not because of the Jewish lobby, by the way. It's not because of the Jewish lobby in England and America and Europe. Although they assist every action that is carried out in Gaza. It is because of the Muslim leaders over the countries in the Middle East who controlled failed to stand Zionists. up. Controlled to by stand Zionists. up. Well, Zionists, how are they Zionists? Zionists? Controlled by Zionists. Well, Zionist money but not by is, Jews, is, right? It's Zionist but not money by that Jews, is, right? Is, is absolutely oh, the leaders, yeah. the leaders the of Saudi me. Arabia. The same difference to me. The leaders of Lebanon. It's a big the leaders of Egypt. It's the same difference. The leaders of Libya. The leaders of Tunisia, Jordan, Jordan. What are they doing? They could, they could mobilize the people of the region. And do what? Against Israel, against the tiny. Why? And, 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 Why hasn't? And, 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 and if necessary, and, 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 they could fight a revolutionary war against Israel. And, you see how no, fast no, no, Israel no. will capitulate. No, you see how fast no. Israel will capitulate. No. I'm going to ask you a question. Sorry, sorry, I just came. The masses of the people of the Middle East. The masses war, of the people of the Middle East. A war against Israel. Really a like, revolution. I said a revolutionary no, that war. That, that's, that's, another, that, that's another word for, 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 for when for, America starts giving arms to Israel. It is mean, another word. It's another word. Haiku. You see, we are at war. We are at war. The world. The West Just is backing the Israel, every and day. you are saying Not this anymore. is the Zionists or the Jews, right? All of the I said wars. yes, it's the, the Zionists, the but the Jews, the Jews. The they real are. reason the Jews for the for the, the ability the of Israel to fight the this war. The real well, reason and, for and, Israel and, 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 to be able to fight this war is because, because the leaders, the leaders the of the Arab world do not mobilize their people against Israel. Because if they did, Israel would not be able to They have done in the past, they have done but that's precisely the point. That's precisely the point. They have been able to defeat Israel. Israel has won. We trace back to sex all of these people. Now, that is not just so you that? <laughs> hey, Mr. Speaker. You just, yes, you were going to say. Yeah, moving the conversation forward. Can I just... Moving the conversation forward, Yes, exactly. Because we need to talk about important things about what's happening in Gaza. You've been listening to him too long. No, we <laughs> were talking about that. No, the humanitarian crisis. So, the humanitarian. Yeah, well, do you draw a distinction between the right-wing folks that run the Israeli regime, right? And the overwhelming, well, global uh, majority of oh, global well, majority sections of, Jews across the world. of people who may be of Jewish uh, descent, descent or whatever, or but not necessarily agree with what Netanyahu exactly. is doing. Exactly. The overwhelming minority majority of people in Israel ag 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 agree with the war right now. I'm talking global. So, 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 so what is that? What do you think about that? Why do you say they agree with the war? They're all starting. Does he draw a distinction? And so are you. Between there is everybody. No, 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 no. Let him speak, let him speak. No, let him speak. Let him speak. Let him speak. I don't support wars for Israel and for Jews. Shut up. Listen, there are 14 million Jews in the world. 14 million Jews. Very small. One four. 14 million. One four. 14 million. Seven million are in Israel. The vast majority of Jews in the world couldn't care less. As far as I'm concerned, they join the Israel. All they care. 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 More importantly, perhaps, more importantly, perhaps, if you look at the trajectory and dynamics of what's happening in Gaza and in Israel, they get away with it because they hide behind the scenes. They can hide behind Little, no, it will not be long before the people in Israel rise up against their government. And they are already, they are already, no, they're not. They are in confused ways. So remove Netanyahu, bring back the hostages. They want that. By the way, that's all Hamas is after. It won't make Hamas wants a deal. It won't make a difference. Where the Israeli, the, 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 the Palestinians imprisoned by Israel, are released for the people taken hostage 
by Hamas. That's what they want to swap. The majority of people in Israel probably support that. They probably support No, no, one they don't. The reasons why the Israeli IDF was prepared to kill its own people on, on October the 7th. Some 130 odd people, it's believed, were killed by the Israeli army. Yeah. The reason was because they have this policy right. called the Hannibal Directive, yeah, right. which says that they'll never exchange prisoners right. because they've done it before and they want one or two people are captured and they give all the prisoners. And therefore they say, well, we can't have anyone captured because that's what happens. And look how they behave. Look how they're behaving. After all, this is the worst. You see what you were talking about earlier on. This is the worst PR for Israel in its history. The worst oh, PR. Oh, I agree with that. Israel. We all agree with that. Yeah, I know. And not only that, but the worst PR for the West. Let me ask you a question. One minute they're turning around and saying, we Ukraine. are the defenders of democracy yes. in Ukraine. Ukraine. Yes. And next minute, we are the defenders of indiscriminate, and that's what it reality is, AI-driven slaughter against children and women in Gaza. And they've banned so Russia. You can't have both ways. They've banned Russia from the Olympics, but they won't ban Israel. Well, that's right. And, and, what about, and what about the Eurovision Song Contest? What about that? Really what about the Eurovision Song Contest? No, it's, it's the same. As I understand, Israel is going to be on the Eurovision, Eurovision Song Contest. Yeah. You should sing that. You should sing that. The song about farting. So let me ask you a serious question. Okay. A serious question. What's the matter with you? 33,000 uh, uh, people in Gaza have been slaughtered. It's dreadful. Now, we've now got three Brits who have been sort of, yeah. and the press is completely full of it now. Well, it's very important so, now. But, 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 why, but, why, but why, I ask you, is it's so important now that three Brits, which is a bad it's thing. It's a rhetorical but, question, I take it. That's a rhetorical question, of course it is. But, what, but I have to ask you, why is it? What, so, what is wrong with us? Because what of the value. The value of West Ham Live is much more than Brian and Black people. The 33,000 people. The question you should ask, what they've done about it. Okay, now we've got three Brits again, and then? Absolutely well, not. So many well, Brits well, still, well, they're, well, they're, well, they're, well, they're still sending well, weapons. Think, no, they're will still happen. sending no, weapons. Something will happen. Right? So nothing, no, so it's all at that point. Elections are coming. No, no. This is, the elections are coming. What's going on here? So, everyone's talking about the elections. As I said before I started this meeting. Hang on a minute. As I said before I started this meeting. Yeah, yeah. I'm a little weak today physically. Ah, well. Uh, and therefore, a little under the weather, and therefore it's yeah, difficult, but it will be more difficult to control the meeting by raising my voice. Right. And therefore, I'm expecting to be engulfed by chaos <laughs> at any moment. Springs and and you two are proving this. Spring, of course, yeah. Springs you in particular. <laughs> Look at this. He couldn't be at the beginning. He couldn't be at the beginning. He checked out. When I said, oh, my chest is a bit weak today, he sprung to the front of the meeting. Ah, yeah. And it's due, 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 due. It's already COVID. None of this is going on YouTube. It's already been pre-censored. Right, right. Can I ask you? <laughs> Since uh, Hamas is not giving up the, the hostages because they want their prisoners to be released by Israel, and Israel has since that process killed 30,000 Palestinians. According how, to Hamas okay, 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 okay. Let's just take that example, take that number as fact. Even if the prisoners were 2,000, is it worth the death of 30,000 Palestinians to get 2,000 prisoners back? Well, it's a rhetorical question, I assume. Well, uh, no, it's not. Well, it's a rhetorical question. Well, no, you really want, want me to say? I don't care. Let him answer. Let him answer. The death doesn't actually care about the Palestinians. They don't that, care because if they cared, they would not allow 30,000 of their people. But who put well, them in power? You see, you see, the people. I have seen. No, not the people. Who funded them at the beginning? The Likudnik wing of the of the, 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 of, the of, of Israel. In 2006. They had an in election. 2006, yeah. Had an election. And, and how many? Come on. And, and what's the average age of people in Gaza today? What's the average age of people? I know what's happening. Most of them weren't even born. I know what's happening to him. The point is that it was. He wants to become a speaker at Speaker's Corner. Ah, perhaps. That's what it is. Get your ladder. So you should do that. Because the argument you just put, some of which I found inappropriate, but that's the world. I don't think you should prevent people you from saying inappropriate things. Right. I don't yeah. think so. Well, it depends. Because if they're Free not said, absolutist. if they're not said, then they're repressed, concealed, and exp express themselves in other ways. 
So by people, by in my opinion, should be free to, to say pretty much what they want. Well, I have to say to you, I agree. I agree. Including agree. what you've said. No, free speech, no, I don't agree with you. I'm just I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm just saying. Anti-Semitism is a virus. The gentleman was asking. The gentleman was asking me. Who's who's submissive? I, so I'm sorry, it's a misnomer. It's a term used to send some Hang on. And so the gentleman asked me, uh, is Hamas effectively responsible for this because of what they did on October the 7th? Hamas and Netanyahu live on each other. Is it worth it? Well, if the, the Palestinians, as far as they're concerned, if it results eventually in the uprising of the people either of the Middle East or of Palestine to don't, win a victory against Israel, then it's worth it, don't as wish, far as they're concerned. Don't wish That's for how I think people see it. And I think, I don't think, wish for war. So, so is it worth I think, don't wish for war. dying for them to get 2,000 prisoners? Well, yes, it's it's long long it's about, as far as they're concerned, as far as they're concerned, I think as far as they're concerned, but this is true, as far as, hang on, I'm not reading something out, come on. Hamas releases the 130 uh, prison, uh, hostages. Will Israel continue the campaign and kill them? I think they probably would. Well, they may well do. I don't know. But they might make a deal. No, they will have they to. They might make a deal. The hostages, the hostages to, is a red herring. The attitude. The attitude. What? The 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 they have babies. Hang on, hang on. The attitude of the people, I believe, in Gaza and of the Palestinian people as a whole, is that they are fighting a war of liberation. And if they if they lose a lot of people in that war of liberation, so be it. As far as they're concerned, that's the case. And I saw Finkelstein talking this morning on a little interview, and he said he became political in South Africa. He was a member of parliament for the ANC. He's standing against Keir Starmer. In uh, yes, he's standing against Keir. Oh, sorry, Feinstein. Sorry, he's standing against Keir Starmer in. Uh, Holborn and, and Camden or wherever it is. Holborn's a bank. And he said, Desmond Tutu and Nelson Mandela both said, both said that Israel is a worse apartheid state than South Africa. Both of them said that. And they were praised as heroes. But I remember a time in the 1980s i remember a time in the 1980s when when we protested against south africa the british establishment was supporting south africa israel was supporting south africa america was supporting south africa and they called nelson mandela a terrorist so they say they say now to, to challenge you on what you're saying, right? Firstly, I don't think it's I don't think it's necessarily that helpful to to say to even though they said that I don't think it's helpful because I think it's a, it's quite nuanced and quite. Thank you. Well, my father-in-law is right now in, in hospital in in Tel Aviv. Okay, he's got cancer and he's in Tel Aviv hospital. Right? He's in a ward with with um, Muslim Arabs. His his doctors are a mixture of Jewish Israeli, Muslim Arab, the nurses are again mixture, right? Beautiful so I, I think that I think no, no, that, that is so beautiful. No, 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 beautiful. So no, there's a lot there's a Rainbow tremendous coalition. amount of horrific racism out there, which is awful. And and and, I, and you know it's, it may be that. But it's also very, very complicated because there are Muslims in, and, and Arabs living in Israel and that some of them uh, have much better lives than in many Arab countries. So I think We're talking about okay, systemic, but that's systemic, systemic Gaza, population. population. No, well, I agree with you. You mean third class uh, Gaza, citizens, saying, you mean? What I'm, what I'm saying is but, I mean, they you inject you African know, women saying, with Depra Pervera to stop them having children because of Jewish Palestinism is that racist. Of course I'm not saying you are. And I apologize. That wasn't right. Two million sometimes in the Arabs. You do say things, although they're not to rouse people. There's a problem around him there, right? 
But I'm saying is that they have, they do have a community that you can play. Okay, I say that all the time. Okay, well, Danny, Danny pointed out that there's a differentiation. I accept that they have not really been pretty good. I was in Tel Aviv, not about three years ago, all right? They have not got full of quality. They probably so right. Right. But you I don't say they do. Right. It's, but I'm it's better than living in Gaza. Yeah. 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 This yeah. differentiation yeah. does exist. Yeah. It's perfectly yeah. correct. And of course, yeah. it anchors yeah. in the minds yeah. of many yeah. Israelis yeah. and among some Muslims this, this idea that it's not quite as black so and white as people say. But don't forget, in South Africa, I remember I had Indian friends, I had Chinese friends who lived in South Africa. And they were called honorary whites. And they had a layer of people. And then there were people in uh, 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 Swaz Swaziland, I think it was. Swaziland, led by a guy called Butalazi. And they were given their own homeland. And they had freedom and their own rights in that homeland. And so, always in such a state, there will be a differentiation between different layers within the population as a mechanism of control. But in terms of what's happening in Gaza, nothing like that ever happened in Soweto when they rose up. No, that's true. Nothing like that ever happened in the ghettos and the and the uh, work camps where people. And, 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 and Feinstein, what he said was. This is the distinction. In South Africa, the apartheid system needed the black labor in order to, uh, to, uh, to accumulate wealth. Whereas in, in Israel, they do not need the people in Gaza. They don't need the people. They don't need the people in Gaza. They don't need the Gazans. All right, let me ask so, this. Anyway, that's 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 yeah. a, that's a reaction. Yeah. Thank you. 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 But let's suppose they were in Tel Aviv holding the yelling. Are they the idea of going to bomb everyone to kill the and the same as they've done to Gaza? Well, we know that's not the case. Oh. What, what is what is what is interesting from the point of view the kids of, and, uh, the of, world, of the Western Israel of the Western world is that although although many people although many people in the West, including many politicians now, all of a sudden declare that they're horrified by what's happening in Gaza. In reality, as long as they can get away with this, it basically means this is the fate they would be prepared to see us suffer Absolutely. in the West if we were considered to be too rebellious or too dangerous they test out for the their authorities. Weapons and their control and don't forget, on Gaza, don't forget, on Gaza, and then they during the whole COVID saga, they said anti-vax sentiment is the same as as terrorism. Yes. That's what they said. Turn that Should switch. be regarded as terrorism. Yes. They also uh -huh. said terrorism. anyone anyone no, who takes to the streets in England yes, well, and protests against the war or the war on the people of Gaza, anyone protests about the genocide, they said if you chant from the river to the sea. Some of the government were saying this. They are the, the Zionist leaders. They were saying. They were saying that is support for terrorism. They are the speech police. In fact, the police had to intervene and say we're not regarding it like that. The truth of the matter is, and I'll, I'll wait, wait, wait. The truth of the matter is, one of the most. It means, the river it means the Jordan, Jordan, the river Jordan the until the Mediterranean well, across, belongs to the right across the West Bank. Place. No, no, no. It needs to be free. But that also means Israel has to disappear. No, it does have to disappear. No, I know what the river is No, I know what the geography is. I'm saying, what is that chant? All the way to Israel has to be dismantled once and for all. And then everyone has to live should happen. In other words, so well, just Western, to find or no European Jews can go back to Europe. Some of them can yeah, they can go back to Eastern Europe. They can say that it was equal citizens, it's not above anyone. For those of you who have been you're not better than anyone who one state. Because they're in a single state, yes. In a single state. Final word. For those of you who have been on those of you who have been on the demonstrations. 
Which one? And, and the last demonstration, the, 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 the ones on Palestine. I was there. I was there. The last one. Palestine. I, I went on the Palestine demo. Yeah, yeah. I didn't go. I had something else to do, but at the same time, I don't feel this enormous motivation to go on the demo. I don't know why. Not because, not because the demo is not big and righteous, but it is because the people leading the demonstrations are marching us like the Duke of York up the hill and down the hill, up the hill and down, or better said, from Speaker's Corner to the US Embassy. March through nowhere, right. speak right. to no one, right. yeah, shout three slogans, right. and then listen to Jeremy Corbyn right. or the Palestine Solidarity Campaign, right. Lindsay German, German and John Rees. Right. Yeah. The yeah. same people the who've been leading the demonstrations yeah from 2001 yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. the same no, no people isn't that good and the platform's never open right. you're never oh, invited to speak right. or yeah. welcome to speak well, the people <laughs> we can't all speak the people well i remember i went on a demonstration in 2004 yeah. in the united states in new york and it was a demonstration against the war and there they said anyone who wants to speak anyone contact us the day before and there were two platforms, one at the beginning, and one further on. And anyone wants to speak, the demo will be going all day. And anyone who wants to speak, will allocate time for them, divided between all the people who apply. That's perfectly possible. But they're all saying the they same thing. They could open it up. They're all saying the they same could, well, thing. They fear lots of these. that the protest movement will get out of control. Right. They fear that the people are aware that this barbarity is carried out in our name, with our weapons. You see Boris Johnson yesterday. Yes. Israel, we can't stop the weapon yeah. from. Yeah. We yeah. can't yeah. stop the... Palantir, made in England. Palantir yeah. makes the software for the Israeli intelligence to monitor, control and arrest Palestinians. They got an office in Soho Square, sits there, huge money. That's where they make the software for the IDF. The British system is inextricably interconnected. And if people were genuinely able to speak, express themselves, mobilize, pinpoint the enemy, then the Israeli power in England could be destroyed in a few days. But, they hate but, the, but the people leading the protest movement in Britain do not want to mobilize the people against the actual that powers part, that are in control. That That's part. the real target that we need to mobilize. Yeah, yeah. Mobilize the yeah, mass of people that. to smash the power yeah, of so Israel and the Israel lobby in Britain. So Thanks very much. One, one question. Yeah. Right. Right. One question. Why? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that was Haiku Ku. And now we have Piers Morgan, Piers Corbin. Piers Corbin. He's standing as mayor. No, good for you. Resist. Good for you, Stanley. Defy. Do not comply. Resist. Defy. Do not comply. Resist. Defy. Do not comply. It's windy, so I can only hold it for a minute. There would be no more war. You're blaming yes. Israel, but it was Hamas that broke into Israel and killed over all those people. Oh, I was there yes. when he did yes. that. And if it, Hamas was to step down from power and surrender because he's lost Hamas. the war. He will never step down. Okay, shall I begin? Yes. 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 Please, no COVID today. Let's have a COVID. Go over there. 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 She, she's the Bible. Says, the Bible is the Bible. Oh, I've got one. And God will make Israel okay. an immovable rock. Okay. And in that day, they're going to look on Jesus. All right, it's windy today. God will go out to fight against Israel. I'm telling you, you're putting 
talking no, about? No, look in the, the wrong direction. Oh, Israel hey. have every right to defend yeah, Israel. Yeah, yeah. No, that, yeah, yeah. that, yeah. that yeah. is yeah. true, of course. No, I know. No, they don't. No, Israel that's has okay. no right to defend itself. Every right to defend itself. Israel has no right to defend itself. Israel will be destroyed very soon, once and for all. Oh, you don't say that. It will be. It's windy today. It will be coming, bro. It's windy today. It's windy today. It's windy today. It's windy today. As tropical storm, ex tropical storm, actually not a tropical storm. Kathleen. As storm Kathleen yes, moves away. Yes. Now, where did this storm come from? I'm telling you this because we do this each time there's something big. Go to the go, Trump. There was an earth facing coronal hole on the top of the sun, actually a polar coronal hole on April uh, uh, the first corona hole. The first of April, 31st of March. Explain that. And then two days later. That storm, Kathleen, was formed. Well, so Sorry, what's four a, days what's later. A corona hole? Four days later. What's a corona hole? Explain the, cor the sun is surrounded by a corona. Oh, you mean you can only yes. see when you there's an the eclipse. Helio the heliosphere or yes. whatever. You yes. can only see it when there's an eclipse. You can only see it when there's an eclipse. And there's a, when the hole's in it, very fast electrons come out and they can affect what happens on Earth through tomorrow, magnetic connections. That tomorrow. happened for the formation of Kathleen four days after the coronal hole. And more interestingly, maybe two days so after the, these coronal holes on the top of the sun, the big earthquake was formed in Taiwan. Uh, okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to move. We're going to move. Sorry. The reason why I'm telling you this Sorry. is because, you know, the sun drives everything. Okay. Yeah, not interested in that. yeah nah, nah, I'm not interested in the corona hole or whatever holes that Pierce is discussing because there's too many holes in his argument. I, I don't know. I'm just, just moving on. I need a place to sit or lean because my legs are killing me. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we need to, uh, we need to find a, a location to take a break. Maybe a debate or conversation that's taking place. That, uh, or should I just end this and go home? What's the time, Mr. Wolf? It's five o'clock. It's five o'clock. I've been here a while. Okay. Uh, oh, the new dog, Uncle Omar, or the new Doctor Who? Uh, Shalili. Okay, Lucy. Lucy wants Shalili. Okay, guys, um, I'm going to go find Shalili. Let's stick the camera facing Shalili. Ah, oh, Paul Williams is here. Paul Williams is here. Hey, Susie, you okay? <laughs> Okay, here comes Speakers, Speakers Corner, uh, X Factor. It's not Singers Corner. Britain's, Britain's got Speakers Corner talent. I have already come grace and me As King of Kings, Lord of Lords, and God of the heaven and the earth. Amen. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. 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 It's called yeah. Arthur's Reflex. Right there. Arthur's <laughs> Reflex. <laughs> Feel free, subscribe, like. Something to accept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just an independent, uninvolved viewer. It's not a class. It's not in the middle. It's just what I did notice. I like the wing. It was a wing. You forgot about the class. It's just a wing. In my shadow. Let's put it this way. I'm a fan of Jesus. I think he was a pretty good guy. He's a pretty okay guy. That's very pretty. He was a pretty cool guy for his time. He tried to do a couple of things. He was a pretty cool guy for his time. Well, actually, he was a pretty cool guy for his time. Questionable, questionable the legality of this vehicle, but it's amazing. It's amazing. I love it. It looks amazing. Because I like motorbikes, but can I share the Sure, by all means. No, I, I, yes, certainly, madam. Go for it. Hi, I'm Teresa. Oh, can I hold one second? Hold one second, if I may. I apologise. If I can just. Oh, Shalini. Just hang on a minute. I'm just sharing. I'm gonna share. I'm just gonna share the gospel. No, just, just. It's only one minute. Hi, I'm Teresa, and I want to share the 62nd gospel with you. This is the good news in Jesus Christ. This is salvation unto all men. God loves you but God hates sin even if you are a good person or think you are good you have not lived a perfect life none have and neither has anyone else your sin 
has separated you from God and your payment for sin is death but there is good news a perfect life can be substituted for yours and mine and God loves you so much that he gave his only begotten son who did live the perfect life for you and for me that Jesus Christ has become the substitute for all mankind all sinners through his death you and I can have eternal life by his resurrection death is defeated it is a free gift from God it is called the grace of God because it's a gift it is free all he asks is to accept his gift and say yes I have sinned I have turned away from God in my heart I have been separated in my sins I repent I repent I repent I want eternal life in heaven with God through Christ Jesus nobody can ever earn it deserve it it is a free gift your sins have been forgiven and will be forgotten God promises to blot out every sin from his mind we can be reconciled with God if we accept the free gift that is in Jesus Christ and we can live eternally in heaven with him it is an invitation from God the creator of heaven and earth to all mankind to come back and live in eternity in relationship with him also starting now on the earth all we have to do is accept his invitation give him an RSVP yes I'm in ask him if it is he true does he exist if what I'm saying is true this is his holy word the Bible ask him with every fiber of your being and Jesus Christ will reveal he is the eternal son of the Most High God and he did live he did walk on the earth he did die for your and my sins and he was raised to everlasting life in heaven and all who believe in him will be raised with him for all eternity Jesus said seek and you will find knock and the door will be open to you ask and it will be given God bless you all amen God bless you thank you thank you so much thank you <laughs> That is awesome. No, no, that's perfect. That's perfect. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay, we're going to move on. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, we are moving on after the Sunday sermon. I hope you, you all enjoyed it, you heathens. I know there's a bunch of you godless heathens in the chat who need Jesus. I've seen you. I saw you, Barnabas. I see you there. You need Jesus, Barnabas. Come to Jesus. <laughs> How are you, sir? How are you, sir? What's happening? Uh, uh, the, the, the black guy in the trackies, the big one, the, the steroid user. Oh, 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 yeah. oh yes. He's, uh, he's got like roid rage most oh, of the yeah. time. Um, <laughs> so he came up to me with that video. You know the one that, I, that you showed on your channel, right? Oh, he yeah. He said, I'm being a bully. Oh, my God. I am <laughs> a bully. <laughs> Like he's saying, oh. he's saying we need to be mature. You. We can't, we can't talk like this. We have to be a lot mature. Yeah. We yeah. have to. Like the Muslims, like how the they're Muslims, always mature they, and they, they, they can do well. whatever they want to. Like Uncle Omar. Exactly. <laughs> they can do whatever they want to, but I say something. Oh no, no, no! Yeah. You need to shut up. You need to do. It's, am it's amazing the the double standards. Exactly. <laughs> and that's why I say uh, the Islam is unfortunately. <laughs> crumbling you show your own hypocrisy 
Like that's what I'm gonna say. That guy, you know what? You might have your opinion, but as I said to him, and I say to everyone, you can say whatever you want to. You don't have to agree with him, and you can just say whatever. Walk away. That's exactly. it. Whatever. Exactly. Like Hafiz has got his own views. <laughs> Look at Hafiz. Like he he's got f bombs all over. I, I have a lot of views. He has <laughs> the right to. Even though I might not agree with it, but he has a right to. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Yes. That's Britain for That's you. That's Britain for you. <laughs> not Iran, Pakistan, or Bangladesh, or whatever the hellhole you went up to. <laughs> you know, there was a time when you could talk to people, disagree, and then afterwards go and have a drink, exactly. and everything was, was cool. Because nowadays, the narrative isn't that we just disagree. Like it's this that guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me capture this a little bit. This is keep going, keep going. You're motivating me. You're motivating me. <laughs> this is why it's important to take your medication. That's right. That's right, people. We we also have fitness fitness sessions at Speaker's Corner. Exactly. Look at that. Well done, sir. No pain, no gain. That's it. It's mindset. Rent is due daily. Your rent. Burpee man sees. Guys, a hundred burpees is mandatory. Minimum. Hundred burpees. Hundred. Minimum. Hundred. I'll be dead after two, but hundred. <laughs> we have been created to struggle. Yes. That struggle has been taken away. So you need to self-inflict it in a righteous way. Are you are you a religious gen uh, person? Look, I religion. On the are you not a religion? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what what is your purpose? What is your goal here? My goal here is if if firstly my my goal here is to promote the natural high you get from working out. The natural high. The natural high. This is, this is, I'm, I'm getting a hit of dopamine. Have you my, tried my, mushrooms? My cortisol, <laughs> my cortisol <laughs> level. Now, gentlemen here mentioned drugs, <laughs> mentioned mushrooms, unless he's talking about organic mushrooms from weight yeah, organic mushrooms. Yeah, yeah, ah. yeah. I like button oh, mushrooms. Okay. But I don't need drugs. I Chestnut. Drug. Oh, I am a drug. Do you know what I'm saying? Mean? Like this is a drug. Your muscles are drugs. See, see here, with this, there's no regret. You can get as high as you want. We wake up the next day with regret. Ah. Regret is your guideline from above. We're, we're working out. I've never regretted a workout. Gratitude is right attitude. Pitbull pride, no self pity. Self pity, self pity. You're feeling sorry for yourself is the root of all evil. Uh -huh. Good man. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Good man. That, Good man. That's what we. That's what we see. That's right. Like that's now. right. No pain, no gain, people. No pain, no gain. And half is the way. The way half is shows you everything, guys. Let me just tell you, he does not have a bias. Because if a half is had bias, you you can call him whatever you want to. But if you want to really piss him off, call him Hafiz. <laughs> 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 but do not Amen. do not be intimidated by anyone. Yes. Whoever tells you do what we say, say walk away. There you walk go. away. There you Thank you very much. Hafiz <laughs> says the way it is, shows the way it is. Yes, yes, exactly. Well well I mean Jesus is the one that shows the way it is really. <laughs> Amen. Uh, Look, I'm influencing him. Into my, into my I, guys, I'm getting corrupted here. I'm getting corrupted. I am. I am praying too much. <laughs> good man. Good man. I'm gonna go walk around see what else comes again. See me if Omar is showing any more turnips to people. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. Uh, okay. Let's go see. Let's go see what's going on. Okay. There isn't really a lot. Ah, okay, okay. We got, we got, we got Asif. We got Asif. Oh my God! Is there enough cameras there? Look at the, look at the amount of cameras that are just. It must be a slow day. Ah, okay, okay. We got the, we got the Dawa gang. We got one of the Dawa gang, head of Dawa gang. Uh, sorry, guys. Don't see you too late. Am I too late? <laughs> okay. There is like a million cameras here. i be honest, I don't think Donald Trump gets this many cameras at a press conference. I'm more, I'm more, I'm more curious about the number of cameras here than, than what they're saying. 
I think after 100 years or 200 years or 300 years okay. or even 400 years. Guys, okay. we're going to be having a birthday party for the Quran's 100 year birthday party today. The Afghan you're reading is only 100 years. Why would they show me a Quran? Why were they reading half? Okay? In the time of the campaign. Why? Why do we have why do we have a Bible? You don't even have the language. Forget about the up and the what? You don't even have the original language that Jesus spoke in. Aramaic. And I mean, Jesus spoke in two languages because he read from the Jewish scrolls in the temple. It was in Jewish. How can he read what something this he doesn't speak? What he spoke two languages. When did I say he never spoke Hebrew? I know it's not that. He, he, he spoke That's Hebrew. a strong argument. Yeah. It was Aramaic, yeah, why are you strong-manning me? He might have spoke Greek. Why are you strong-manning me? I never said he didn't speak Hebrew. What okay. I was saying. So what was Jesus' in native language? Aramaic. Aramaic. What is the term for God in Aramaic? What? Allah. 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 What is the name of Jesus? Does that make it true? But according to so that, Jesus calls God Allah. 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 Come on, this is Allah. 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 What was his God's name? Je Jesus is Yahshua. What was Jesus' so God's name? That means God's salvation. What was Jesus' God's name? Jesus, 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 called, Jesus, called, Jesus never said you God. He just referred to his Father. He never referred to God. But finally, at the only passage that Jesus says God. Are you in the English term God? He referred to his Father. You are talking about the English term God? No, Baba. Baba? Actually, Baba, not Baba. Baba. But that is still Aramaic. But it's still Aramaic. So your God, you know, our God gave us how many names? Muslims? 99 names at least he has given us. That God gave them zero names. Zero names. Zero names. Look how angry he is. Look how angry he is. Because you see, you know when somebody loves you, the first thing... Good. If somebody loves you, what's the first thing you expect from them? What is the first thing you expect from them? That they at least tell you that name, the right? The greatest Your God loves you so much that He didn't give you a single name? Oops! Our God at least gave us nine. So what I'm gonna do? Alhamdulillah. Yeah, okay. Let me give you the what, what's the name of Jesus. Eight hundred name. That's a title. Ah, I thought uh, uh, Muhammad was the title. No. The first one. Every name. Ah, right, okay, every name cool. in Arabic and Hebrew okay, has a meaning. Ahmed. Ahmed is also named. Okay. Okay. Is that it? Okay. 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 We have evidence on the Quran. We don't need to see if you're going to go home and edit it. We have the names of God. We have we have the attributes of Allah in the Quran. All of this is clear. Oh yeah, this is now just more dawah again. They talk about the dawah. When you ask them for evidence, nobody provides it from the Bible. Is there any Christian here who can provide evidence of the change from the Bible? Anyone? Come on. Matthew 28, 19. Matthew 28, 19. Come, come here, come here. Come, 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 come. Oh. Okay. Yeah. We have another one. It's boring. Same old, same old. Okay, I'm moving on. I'm moving on. To be honest with you guys, it's kind of quiet today. Don't really have a lot of other, other things going on. We're basically going in circles. Let's uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, street Mike's gone home. I think yeah, street Mike's gone. No more street Mike. We see no street Mike. 
Hello, sir. Sir, so, can I interview for, for like one minute about your your your? Oh, no worries. What is this your camera? No, that is not mine. I think you got one of the maybe the Dawa guys or. Uh, okay. Um, okay. Can I just simply ask you um, if you if you want to give your name or your channel name or whatever it is, and also um, what's your purpose and goal here? My purpose and goal is to uh, change the way. My purpose and goal is to change the way that evangelists evangelize, to show the evidence of the Bible and stop playing word games. The truth is not subjective. Is the name of my channel, but I am here. I am Lord send me. Um, you'll find me busting up Hamza. You find me busting up Ali Dawa. You find me busting up this guy. What I don't do is try and win a game in an argument. I show the evidence that the emperor wears no clothes. All you have to do is to look at the holy book, compare them side by side, and you'll see the truth. Let God be true and every man a liar. So I'm here because Jesus Christ saved me six years ago. Yeah, Jesus Christ saved me six years ago. And it's true, and I have a relationship with a living God, and you can know God personally. The, the, Christianity is so good it sounds fake. C.S. Lewis said this, Christianity, if true, is the most important thing in the world. If it's false, it's of little importance. The one thing it cannot be is moderately important. Is this your first time at Speaker's Corner? First time at Speaker's Corner. How do you find it and have you, did you research this before you come? I've been watching it for years. I think it is laughable that Christians, because Christians are coming here and they're whooping their ass daily. People are laughing and having echo chambers for Muslims. But why are we not using the tools that we have, the modern tools that we have to destroy Islam? I can blow every man out of the water. That's why I walk away, because I've got enough material to sink them. Every single, well, I beat them in the arguments and then when it comes to the evidence, the jaw's gone, the dropped. So I've not come here to take part, I've come here to take over. All right, um, uh, <laughs> Conor McGregor. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, gentlemen. All right, guys, that was uh, that was that, that new guy. The new guy at Speaker's Corner. Okay, um, I don't know. I don't really have a lot, of, lot else going on here today. I'm gonna keep the live going for a little bit longer. But, um, ah, Dusty, how you doing, man? Got Dusty, Dusty in the house, everyone. Dusty, <laughs> we had a we had a, a reasonably deep conversation last time. It was it was good. <laughs> yeah, I think it was a little bit better than just the religious. Yeah, exactly. It was uh, it was about uh, we were touching on communism, but you know, <laughs> in your head. <laughs> in yeah, fact, in my head, but in actual fact, we're touching on. What humanity and how we survive. What is that, that, is way that is true. Have you given speeches today? Yeah, I was talking about how the Abrahamic religions are responsible for the Gaza war and how it is uh, designed into the Abrahamic religions to commit genocide. Actually, let me let me play. I'll just put this over here. Yeah. But, but you can Actually, see how let's do the internal camera so I can monitor what we're what we're seeing. All right. So yeah. So yeah. You were saying that the Abrahamic religion more wide angle. No, because this is the internal camera, so it's not as good as uh, the other side. If I do the other side, I can't see. <laughs> I still feel. I feel wide angle really captures speakers. Uh, uh, does it? Does it? It captures. Uh, it's okay. It's got your good side. It's got your good side. Don't worry. <laughs> Are you happy with his camera work? Are you no, happy with his investment? I can't. I have to do the other side and it's like, look, let's just go with this. <laughs> because otherwise I have to stand over there and, and I won't be on camera with you. Uh, okay, so yeah, the Abrahamic religion. Now, although actually I'm kind of, I'm kind of on board with that because I think not necessarily the Gaza-Israel war, uh, uh, this current one, but the prolonged duration of this entire conflict for the last 70 80 years if, if if this was purely based on land this would have ended long time ago but because it is a religious aspect to it and especially when they talk about al quds which is jerusalem if it wasn't for jerusalem i think a lot of this would have been resolved and i think you're right religion is at the core at the core of this it's the painful topic that nobody really wants to talk about that because everyone wants to think their religion is a superior religion. Their religion is the one that dictates whatever action is committed. And no matter how bad that action that you commit is uh, done, you can always sit back and go, well, it was done by uh, the word of God. 
So therefore, under that, you can't question. Them. Can't question it. And also, if you're gonna, if I was gonna, if someone, if person A is gonna murder person B, the very important thing to realise is person A probably doesn't want to kill person B. Just probably most most people don't want to kill. There most people. Don't. Most people. There are psychopaths, but this conversation is not about psychopaths. So person A probably doesn't want to kill person B. But if you tell person A, hey. God commands it, God will also therefore, that guilt you may feel about murdering another human being, don't listen to that, listen to the word of God, and guess what, the people that sell the, weapon sell the weapons, the weapon companies, the people that uh, just want to have power and money, they're the people that design these Abrahamic religions, they're the people that say that you should live as one entity under God, but you should mock people that believe in God. That believe in other gods. Or don't believe in God at but all. Fundamentally, what defines most religious people, not all religious people, is that the other people's gods are rubbish, wrong, to be killed for. And that de defines, not describes, not only the Gaza war, which is purely a religious war, an Abrahamic war, it describes all wars that have ever happened in the last 2,500 years. In the in this the is world. this is something that I find um, a bit careful. May slow down. <laughs> no, it's okay. So you're good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's a lot of people here. A lot of people here. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Carry on. Carry on. Don't worry. Come on. Corner today. Yeah. Be careful. Just, just. Your bells and the pedestrian. shoes are being an pedestrian. Yeah, yeah. Priority. Just take it easy. Just take it easy. Have a nice cycle. Be careful, sir. Yeah. A lesson for bikeists as well. Because you <laughs> ring bells and because you think morally superior on a bike, which most of you deservedly, rightly should, by the way, doesn't mean therefore you can still hurt other Actually, people. We could, we could go back a little bit here. That way we're probably out of their way. Just to be, just to be neighbourly and sensible. Okay. The one thing I wanted to say was. What I've discovered and what I find a little bit disingenuous about non-religious people who talk about Gaza and Palestine yeah. is that they think or they always switch to, oh, this is just a land dispute about who was the original people there, who was the um, the, 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 what it, the natives. It's, they always talk about natives and native rights, whilst what they don't realize is that throughout the centuries, especially the last 2,000 years of, uh, of Christianity and, and all Abrahamic religions, Abrahamic. well, 4,000 years of Abrahamic religions, there has been a migration of people that have come and gone from that area, and the people that are there now probably have almost no relations to the people who were there 4,000 years ago, 5,000 years ago. And so, to say that this is purely a native's argument, I think is foolish, because I think because of the religious elements, because of the Muslims who built the mosque over the Temple of Solomon, these things cannot be ignored. These things cannot be just sort of, uh, you know, washed away. People, the Muslims, when I talk to uh, uh, Palestinians, they don't even talk about this is our land or this is our. Some of them do say, oh, that was my my olive garden, olive, uh, you know, farm, whatever. But the number one thing they say, we will never give up Al Quds. We will never give up Jerusalem. That is their number one thing. Even though Jerusalem is just a town, it's just this little city. It used to be a kingdom, but now it's like a, it's considered a city now. Uh, and the, what you've just described was never to build, build a uh, closer relationship with God. It was built fundamentally to create religious fundamentalists yeah. who will justify. So the building of another religious. Uh, Abrahamic religion on top of another one. And, and religious temple, if you like, on top of another temple. Another yeah. Abrahamic religious entity on top of another one. It's purely just to sow division amongst the Abrahamic people. That's it. I'm afraid I've got some really bad news, not for you, but for some of your viewers out here. Israel was never built to be a home for the Jewish people. That was never its aim or intent. Is this the modern incarnation that we're talking about now, not the not the, the King David or King Solomon theory. today? Yeah, the, the 1948 Israel it was never built to be a home for the Jewish people. It was built to create religious fundamentalists on both sides. That was its only purpose. Because guess who funded it? The Christian Zionists. They created the reason why um, Israel exists. It was got on the money 
and pa political power of Christian Zionists. Well, they had to because they had to. The British Empire was the one. The British owned uh, effectively what we call Israel today. It was considered. It was called the, the British so British Mandate of Palestine. But no, because you got to realize that was because they won it from the Turks. So the Turks owned it before the British. <laughs> Which is also wrong. So, but what I mean is, you, 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 if you actually look at it in the, in the sense of who you would pass it on to, the Palestinians would never get it, and neither would the Jews. <laughs> uh, so, it's Christian Zionists that get, made Israel happen, not the Jewish people, not the yeah. Jewish leadership. But the thing is, the, they had to come to the British, that which were Christian. The Jews had to come to the Christians to ask for Israel because it was in the hands of the Christians in the last sort of phase. So they had no choice. Do, we need to talk about what Christian Zionist is. Christ, okay. Christian Zionism is the mass murder of Jewish people. Okay, could you, exp could you unpack that for us? Mass murder of Jewish people and the mass murder of everybody on the planet. Everybody on the planet, apart from that little tiny group of Christians who think they're the pure essence of their particular madness. Uh, how did you come about this? Well, if you let me finish, then I, can, I will conclude. Uh, so, as I was just saying, not only they want to murder all the Jewish people, but they want to murder everybody on this planet. But also, apart from this tiny little group of, of religious fundamentalists. Yeah, they're the ones who are going to get raptured also. They're the ones that think they're going to get raptured because Christian Zionists want to bring about the apocalypse. Their insanity. The, Israel was never built to be a home of the Jewish people. It was built so some insane Christian Zionists, fundamentalists, fundamentalists will bring the end times. Come the end times. That's the only reason. So Israel was never built to be a home. It should have been. It should have been. It that should, wasn't the aim of the Christian Zionists. It was not the aim of Israel. Today, as it is today, it was never built to happen. That actually, that actually that's, that's, a, that's a very great point that you came because recently they had this thing called the red heifer. Do you know about the red heifer? Uh, I, yeah, all of it, kind of. it is a particular uh, red colored cow that apparently, if they sacrifice this cow, the, some kind of prophecy, the Jews believe, or certain Jews, some Jews believe, that if they sacrifice this cow, at an altar over i think it's the you know uh, the, the mosque that the end the the, the messiah will come and that the, the temple will be rebuilt do you think that this also links into the the christian fundamentalists that you were thinking about it's irrelevant whether it links or not the fact is Israel was never meant to be a home for Jewish people. It was meant to bring about the mass murder of all the Jewish people, all people on this planet, apart from a tiny few people who think they, who get raptured and get to um, uh, lit, get, uh, yeah, it's all insane. But this idea, this concept, even though it's insane, right? Even though it's bonkers beyond belief, the people that wrote it, of course, never believed it. They never believed it. They only wrote it because they knew that they could perpetuate constant war, constant division amongst different Abrahamic religions. So they could always end up murdering each other constantly and perpetually. And while all you Abrahamic religions are doing this, your religious leaders sit back getting richer and richer and richer, having a good laugh, driving around uh, in their fancy little cars and their nice houses owning countries, owning political systems, owning politicians. That's what they do with us money, to keep fueling it to you, not becoming a home, a home for your people or community, but to keep becoming this perpetual, constant hatred and genocide amongst each other. One thing I wanted to point out, because I have actually, uh, when I think back now, years ago, I came across this same theory that you did. Don't you think that it could be a self-fulfilling prophecy in which, because they want to bring back, bring around the end times, these people have now provided, essentially, Israel the weapons that could bring about the end times, those world-ending type uh, uh, weapons, in which, because, now I'm, I'm going to say something that might be a little bit controversial, because everybody knows that I support the state of Israel, but 
I think there are. Do you support the state of Israel, or do you support the idea of Jewish people should have a home? Uh, well, that's, that's what I support. Yeah, yeah. I mean, okay. Let me let me clarify then. I support the Jewish people having a safe place yeah. in the world. A safe place. Yeah, I, I I support that. That is absolutely sane. Yeah, yeah that's Rational. that's what I mean. But I mean, of course, if clearly, yeah. Israel was never built to be a safe place. The yeah, I mean Jewish home. Yeah, but what I, what I just want to get to is that there was a there was a, there was two countries that I feel that should not possess atomic weapons: Pakistan and Israel, because I find them to be volatile nations who could potentially ignite the end of the world. Essentially, for me, these two nations are. Good evening. These two nations are too volatile to have such destructive weapons. And I think that what you said about Christians wanting to create the state of Israel to bring back forward the end times is, yeah, is, a, is a form of self-fulfilling prophecy in which they will give that volatile nation the very weapons to end everyone. Well, if you're ever wondering why Christians in America are fueling so many weapons and money to Israel, it's because of that reason. It's not because they believe Jewish people should have this safe home that I think both you and me agree most with, people would. and most reasonable people on the planet would. It's not that. It's so that Christians, the insane Christians in the year in the, on this, the same, the insane, in the insane leadership. Sorry, the Christians on it, and it is questionable. A question that I don't know the answer to, by the way. I should point out. It is plausible, 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 not definite, that Hitler was a Christian Zionist as well. So I'm not 100% about that, but it's something that I think we all need to do some research. Because if he ever helped Jewish people into Palestine before the war, he would be a Christian Zionist, if there was any relationship like that. And I do believe there is an agreement that was happened, did happen, but I'm not 100% about that, so do not listen to me on that. <laughs> but definitely something we should talk about and do research on. So we should consider these things? Uh, reasonably, rationally, and uh, not let emotions... Just the final thing, I don't want to keep you too long. What are your thoughts about Israel attacking the Iranian embassy in Syria and the potential of Iran sending troops to Gaza? Well, uh, I think we should all be left with this message. How on earth can you sell the concept of heaven if you don't make hell on earth? How on earth can you do that? If we're all living as well and healthily we can with each other, why on earth do we need the idea and concept of heaven anymore? Well, but if we're all murdering each other, if we live in a land of pollution and poverty and hell, which is hell, then suddenly heaven seems like a reasonable option. And guess what? Most people in that desperate state will commit any desperate act. So yeah, the thought we should be having is, how on earth can you sell the idea of heaven if heaven is on earth? I know, I know, but how, what are your thoughts about the Iran situation? Well, that links in, it links in, it links in, it links in, it's just trying to, all that's happening is, these wars are built to create misery, rape and division. That's all they're here for. So then, and then whoever's left on either side, they get sold the idea of heaven. And bingo, because I've got some bad news for you. You won't like this, you lot. But these uh, Abrahamic religions, they're just a business. And they're in the business of making money. A lot of money. And they use God as a tool and excuse to extra extract from you your humanity and your wealth. Interesting, interesting. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. I will see you again on the next time round. <laughs> Thank you. How are you doing? You all right? How's it going? Uh, Banksy or uh, Harpers, whichever one you want. My channel is called Harpers Reflects. Harpers, yeah, call me Harpers. Uh, no, no, I'm, um, I'm not religious. <laughs> uh, no, I'm an atheist. I don't believe that there is a God. But um, there is, there is. I know, I know. But what I mean is, uh, I'm, uh, for me, I'm just a impartial. I try to be an impartial. Like the, like the ITV, like the BBC. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> try to be impartial. <laughs> Thank you. Nice to, you. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, guys. Um, to be honest with you, I don't really see a lot, lot happening. Although we just still have good daylight. How are you, sir? You okay? <laughs> We still have some good daylight, as you can see. Um, we have uh, the the Arab contingent, or I'm not sure where that's from, but uh, I got to get one of those. There's something I wanted to do, 
have to maybe go to uh, Edgeware Road, see if I can buy one of those dish dash things. What else do we have? What else do we have? Is Omar still around, cussing people out? I don't know. You would think the Muslims would start to leave, it's kind of coming up to sunset. Shouldn't they be breaking that fast? I don't know. I'm not sure. There's Miss Shalili going around. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Things are got a little bit exciting. Sorry. How you doing, mate? How are you? I know, I know. Finally, something happened. <laughs> Finally, okay guys, something, something's happening, something's happening, this young man is quite agitated. Oh. It's okay, it's okay, man. take it easy, what take it easy. Where is he? No one's had his camera. What happened? What happened? He said he's gonna kill my whole family. Who? What the fuck? Has he done it though? Who? It's just words, bro. Has, has he done it? Right. Why, are you, why are you crying for? A gentleman's getting a little bit, a young man. He's getting a bit too excited. He's getting a little too excited. Young man is a bit excited. Young, young man's young man's a little bit a little bit too excited. Unfortunately, that's what happens when you have too much testosterone. Roid rage, a little bit, a little bit too much pre-workout. Uh, Omar is still here. Like a woman. Don't ever touch me. I'm a woman of God, and I'll split your head. Like a woman. Okay. Okay. Feel feel a little bit of rain. Might be might be raining. Okay. The day is getting long. Tempers are fraying. Tempers are fraying. People's gonna people are getting a little bit. I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm trying to speak. He can't. He's gonna try and come. I'm trying to fight. I am. I'm actually trying to stay away from this. I'm trying to stop the brothers from fighting. But he's trying to fight. I'm saying it right here, very clear. I do not want to speak. I'm not gonna talk. Stop. God bless you. I love you, bro. I wish you change your heart. I have no idea. I have, people are just arguing about arguing. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's, it's a. It's I, know that, I know that guy's a Christian. Yeah. I don't know if it was a Muslim or a Christian debate. I don't know, yeah. I, I, I just saw people jumping up and down. On, yeah. I just saw that and that's it. I have no idea, man. Hello, Hi, how are you, my good friend? You're good, you're good, good, good. How is sorry? Did you see the fights? The well, it, of the it was a little bit of a ruckus, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I love it how Speaker's College reacts to it, but they don't inherently stop it though either. They, just, <laughs> they open up the, a path. The camera it. guys, they don't want to stop it. They love Secretly, it. they love it. First thing that happens is the camera yeah. will charge. Because and also, even if I wanted to stop it, I'm holding all this shit. I can't even stop it anyway. Oh, <laughs> so there's nothing I can do. I am just purely there to record it. Move towards the crisis. <laughs> just like and subscribe, everyone. Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the Uncle Omar? Omar? Yeah, 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 there, 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 Omar. Omar is there. He's giving the talk. The post fight talk. Post match conference. <laughs> Post-match conference! There we are, look at, look at this just, Why is this woman speaking to me? <laughs> oh, they, they need to be my man. When the woman you like so Oh my god! Most, I think there's the best content. What's this? Oh, you have a Quran with you, that's, that's very no, nice. No, uh, oh, is that? Oh no! Oh, it's a prophet. Oh, it, oh, it's a biography, yeah. excellent. I had a discussion. Very, very leather-bound book, oh, it's very nice. nice. Yeah. Who gave it to you? This guy, man, he walks around with a stick, him. He gave it to you yeah, today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow! So he... So I had a dis discussion last week.
week about the Quran and about the about Prophet Muhammad. I like, was questioning some of the. And so things. that's a biography. That's not yeah. an actual like a Quran. No, no, no. It's like actually the cause, what, like his life. Uh, the you seal. Know? Was it, sorry. The the, the seal nectar. Nectar. Interesting. Interesting. So it's like the chapters are like interesting. So it's just like a history of Islam as well. I'm oh, sorry. Can I get that on the on the thing? Yeah, of course. All right. Can you show me the front front page? All right, all right. Okay, I'm gonna look for this. Guys, remember the sealed nectar, yes. the biography of Muhammad. Very good Interesting. Book. It's a lovely book. Yeah. yeah, it's lovely. You don't. I mean, these days with all e-books, you don't see real books yeah, that, yeah, that much. Yeah, <laughs> not much effort goes into them. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. No. Good stuff. Last week I was talking about the prophet. Oh yeah. With, uh, what what discussion? You know Hashem? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah Hashem is yeah, one yeah. of the so, Dawah guys. Yeah. I don't know, we were just discussing a few things because I... What, I what think I, what you I was, see it today. Yeah, yeah, you see, you see. But what, what I was reading was that the uh, Prophet Muhammad got divorced. He got divorced? Yeah, that's what I read. Who did he get divorced from? From... This, first this girl, Hafsa, this woman. Hafsa? One of his wives. Oh, okay. Which was a, a theoretical divorce because he married her but never consummated the marriage. And they stopped the marriage stopped. They didn't. didn't oh, carry I see. On. So there was there was no because of no consummation. There was no marriage. So yeah, they just exactly. separated. Yeah. Really. And there's a few other cases as well. Like I can't. Why remember. didn't he consummate? I don't know. I don't know fundamentally. But That's there are there are these problems. You see, it? there are still little tidbits of Islam that I didn't even know about. Like I didn't know Muhammad got divorced. I mean, I, I knew. Either, he's, talks about yeah. Yeah. That's what I mean. It. But I read it. Oh, they don't actually believe that that happened. No, no, I said this to like all of them. No, like he didn't. Really? But I read this, like. Whereabouts did you read it? Oh, this it source. might be in that book. No, it's not going to be. No. In this case, no, no. But it's this source, this uh, Arabian historian from the 9th century, Al Tabari. Oh, Al Tabari. Al Tabari, yeah. And so it's it's in Al Tabari. Yeah, so it's a huge, massive book, you know. Yeah, You've got yeah, like I know. That's the thing. Though. This is the problem with these, like. It's too big. That's what I mean. These these hadith books, like the Al Al uh, Muslim and Al Bakari, they are massive books. It's like it will take forever to get through these damn things. Uh, I was reading like Al Tabari is like. 400, 500 pages for each bit, you know, it's proper for comprehensive it's history. But it's actually crazy because in the Western world at that time, you didn't have anything like that, like that history telling ability, you know, which was like you had Gibbon, which was 800 years after this guy. And this guy basically did an earlier Gibbon, this Al Tabari. But in that book, it says that. I have to give it to them though. In that early years of uh, uh, like Islamic is expansion, I mean, I'm not saying that it was necessarily the Arabs, it was certainly the Arab country or the countries they Arabized, like the Babylonians, the, the Assyrians, the Persians, these were very sophisticated societies for their time. So they did have, I mean, you know, in the Iranians, they have the, the Shah, oh man, I forgot, it's Shah and Shah, it's, it's, it's the Book of the Kings. Yeah. And that was written long before Islam or any of these things were around. And you know, there's a theory that... I was against This is And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that book? We're talking about the book. It is the biography of the Prophet. My friends here gave it to me. Yes, yes, good man. See, we're discussing good We're discussing no, things. It's not always yeah, about you real. bastard, you <laughs> khara. <laughs> it's sometimes it's about good things. <laughs> you donkey. Do you know what is the name of this person? What, what is the name? Wangsi. 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 He called himself Shan. Khara. Wangsi, but originally he's a Wangsi. Wangsi. <laughs> Every day. He sounds like Shamsi. <laughs> no, no. Where is Shamsi? He doesn't have Shamsi. Shamsi, that's how he pay him a lot of money. <laughs> and he's in Medina now. Okay, okay. Oh, is he, that's is he right. gone for Hajj? He's gone for Hajj. He's, he's gone to see Umrah, MBS. Umrah, not Hajj, Umrah. Is that, is that where Muhammad Hijab and Ali Dawah were gone as well? Or? You know, Muhammad is uh, Ali Dawah every night in the fucking stream. You collect him money, the bastard. <laughs> He hates them. <laughs> you don't like Ali is, it, is it because they make more money than you? Or is it because you hate them because they're, they're, they are more tadi, no, munafek? I'm not in money business. Are they munafek? I am not in money business. No, no, I mean, Ali Dawar and Mohammed Ijaz, are they like munafek? I am not in money business, ya Sharmuta. No, you're not in the money business. I'm saying they're in money business. So, so why, why envy them? If I'm not in money business, why envy them if they make money or don't make money? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> you only good in wanking, you know? <laughs> 
Well, actually, yeah, it is. It's, it's, a, it's a hobby of mine. It's a very. I'm very dedicated to it. What is this book about? Well, the biography of Prophet. This is very, very tiny. The most uh, summarized biography, but it will do the job. Okay, it will do the job. Which Inshallah. one? Inshallah. This is summarized, so it's longer than this story. There is 10 volume, this 15 volume. Yeah, yeah, but that's Al-Tabari, a different story, like about history of prophets, history not of tabari, Abraham. No, not Tabari. Tabari is a Mufassir. It's a Mufassir. Huh? Tabari is making Tafsir in Quran. But the uh, Bidaya uh, and the Haya, the beginning and end of Ibn Kathir, there's a lot of books about events. Okay. But this is very, very limited. But if there's little good in your heart, clean spot in your heart, you will have a stamp in your heart. Inshallah. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna leave uh, leave Omar to do his thing. Let's see what else we have conversations, discussions and debates. That gentleman is talking. Okay. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me squeeze through here. Okay, where are we? Is there any more debate and conversations to take place? I see nothing. I see nothing. Anyone? Anyone want to want me to go anywhere or cover anyone? Uncle Omar was having a boring conversation. He's only funny when he's swearing at me. I can't see anyone else. I've covered too much Jesus. I've had, I've had Jesus overdose today. I'm overdosing on Jesus. Gotta, gotta get some Muslim conversations in. Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's listen to uh, Muhammad and his. Oh my God! Have love in the his house. Check out yourself. No, I'm yeah. talking to these guys. I've always got people. <laughs> oh, you have how many? Uh, uh, 28. <laughs> Show me to them, right? Yes. Ah. Everybody knows the big nose. Everybody knows the big nose. He is not Iranian. Not at all. No. Mozambique. Mozambique. He's from Mozambique, clearly. <laughs> so, you promise me. Yes, I will definitely do that video for you. 100%. I'll, I'll when edit it. Have the pleasure. When we <laughs> give me a couple. Give me till Wednesday. Give me till Wednesday. Dude, I need a couple of days. It's Sunday. Corbin's brother. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Pierce. I, I had a nice, uh, you know, nose to nose with him. But he seemed quite upset with you. He, he, he no, seemed you like, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He, he, he was he shouting at you or something. No, he made something. it up. He made it up because oh. he, he noticed my question, the line of my questioning, and that's why lots of people when they when I trick them with my line when they when they get it and then <laughs> yeah. they say, well, why did he? What did you ask him? Why did he become upset? He wants to become a mayor of London. I know, I know. But so I said. Uh, how do you know that you're going to win? Okay. And he's, he sort of struggled. He yeah, went, uh, nobody, nobody knows how he's going to. How they're going to win? Are they? But you have what a strategy? strategy? Oh, exactly. Okay, okay. He didn't have any strategy. No, I didn't want to put words in his mouth. So from from my question, if people can see whether they're educated or, you know what I mean oh about what they preach, oh similar to these Muslims here. Ladies and gentlemen, and also okay. Yeah. yeah, ladies and gentlemen, look out for a great video to come soon. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I see. Is that why he got pissed off at you and he started like yelling or whatever? No, I don't, he never hear yelled at me. Yeah, but you, you seemed upset. No, he never yeah. upset. Oh, okay. he, he went back again to me and we, we took a couple of pictures. I'm going to upload later. Okay, okay. Guys, go to Big Nose of uh, of London. Check it out. He's very funny and he's not Iranian. Whatever he is, he's not Iranian. <laughs> no. Okay, I put it in a riddle, shall I? <laughs> yes, yeah. well, that you're not Iranian. Yes. Yes, absolutely. I hold to no religion or creed. I'm neither Eastern, Muslim, Christian, Jew or Gentile. I come from neither land nor sea. Was not born nearby or far away. Claim descent not from Adam and Eve or the angels above. A transient body and soul. My home is beyond name and places. What am I? 
<laughs> Not Iranian though. <laughs> That's it. You've got it. You've got it. You've got it. Take care, dude. I'm gonna say hi to Pablo. I'll, I'll definitely by Wednesday. I will have it done. I promise. I'll try and get it sooner, but Wednesday. Give me some Wednesday. music on, yeah. Everything, everything. Don't worry. You love it. You love it. Hello. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. How are you guys? Subscribe to uh, Athens Reflect, okay. Not Banksy. How are you? You okay? How do you guys do today? We are alright. We're talking about uh, the CCP here. We have some uh, fans of the CCP apparently. And, uh, we have some hecklers too coming by. Here's one of them. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Tell me about the Azov Battalion. <laughs> oh, oh. Azov! Dude, you know, I, I will tell you one thing. Like last time I was here in Speaker's Corn, a gay kid, a guy, a gay, a gay kid, to me. A gay guy. <laughs> a guy came to me and he started immediately with this kind of rhetoric. He was like, oh, he's singing oh, Max. It's the little, little No, no, different, different guy. Because different I saw guy, different you guy. last time on the pedestal and it was Max, uh, the, the red cap boy they used to call him. <laughs> we'll talk about the red cap boy soon. I'm glad you mentioned him too. But this guy was different. This guy comes to me and he says, oh, could you tell us about the Nazi problem in Ukraine? About the Nazi battalion problem in Ukraine? And I told him, yeah, sure. You know, there's three Nazi battalions in Ukraine. The Wagner group, the Sparta battalion, and the Rusic group. <laughs> All Nazi groups sent by Russia to wage war That's against true. Ukraine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and the Wagner Group is actually a prescribed terrorist organization yeah. in Britain. I find that argument really interesting about... The, what about Wagner? Like, no, no, Wagner Group, but the idea of uh, extremism in, in Ukraine, because I speak to a lot of Hungarians and uh, people from Romania, and they, they say that... ...the arisen since uh, Russia invaded Crimea. The main country got invaded by another country. And that is the problem of nationalism in France. Yeah, it's a problem at all. I think there's a difference between having nationalists in your government and having Nazis in your government. I think there's a big spectrum of what it means to be a nationalist. The nationalism idea which came into Ukraine of people trying to protect language and reinforce their borders. Because people, especially in the UK, people don't forget that you've got borders, so therefore languages would cover, spread over those borders. Because uh, uh, my Romanian friends were saying that the Romanians living in Ukraine were being forced to uh, speak Ukrainian. No one was forced to speak Ukrainian. Yeah, I, I don't know the truth. But the idea that this is no, 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 being the, forced these stories to speak are, Ukrainian. No, this, I am saying. from Western Ukraine. Even yeah. in Western Ukraine, even after the beginning of the war in 2014, people still spoke Russian. Now, sure, there was some pushback sure. sometimes. Sometimes people were upset, oh, why aren't you speaking Ukrainian? But nobody was forced to speak Ukrainian. It wasn't part of the law. Yeah, yeah. This stuff, this rhetoric that, oh, you know, Ukrainians were preventing Russians from speaking Russian, complete no bollocks, complete lies. Propaganda. Russian it's complete propaganda. propaganda. Yeah, it's, it's nonsense. It is nonsense. But, you know, coming back to Red Cap Boy, as yeah, you mentioned, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, man, Dude, I found. You know what's funny? Red Capo keeps cutting the branch on which he is sitting. Every single d d time he shows up and he heckles us, I find out something new and unsavory about him. Like, I didn't know anything about Red Cap Boy until he started showing up in videos and heckling us. Then people who know him watch these videos and they came to me, they told me, oh, look, this is Red Cap Boy, I know him because this, this, this and this. Like, apparently, he was raised by two homosexual fathers here in the UK and he got really extrema extremized by the far right and he trashed their house with 80,000 pounds damage. That was damage. his brother, actually. Uh, was it his brother? Yeah, that was his brother. So what did he do? Did he actually... Uh, no, I think he got bullied by the brother as well. Uh, so wait a second. So, hold on, I'm learning something new now. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll wait, a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Yeah. Wait a second. Yeah. So, was his brother also adopted alongside yeah, him? Step brother, yeah. Donald Trump's yeah. still making him red again. Yeah. That's why everybody called him red. Why was Red Cap Boy kicked out of the house then? If it wasn't him who trashed it. No, I think uh, the, the homosexual fathers regretted uh, adopting both of them at the end of the day. But yeah, no, back to the fact, 
do you think? Because I heard he was Eastern European. Is that he's Russian. He's Russian. He's ethnically Russian. Oh, that's yeah. why he hates him. That's why he hates him. That's no, why he's he hates a, <laughs> anyway, this guy is just stupid. This guy is just idiotic. Yeah. You know what you say here in the park? I hope you should. Red cap I hope you should. I hope you should. I hope you should. I hope you should. I follow up. I hope the irony isn't missed. <laughs> yeah, I hope Alexei shows up. He is a Russian also, half Russian, half English. And uh, he's one of my best friends here in the park. You know, he's a lovely individual. I, uh, but, uh, I hang out but with yeah, him so, very often. So you started to basically discover all these different things about... About Max. Red Cap Boy. Apparently, he used to hang out in gay bars with with other guys. Well, I think he's gay, isn't he gay? I, he, I gay. mean, uh, it looks like he was gay. He was dancing. I saw some videos of him dancing. Like, he was talking about Zelensky. Oh, Zelensky, he's gay. He was dancing in that one music video with high heels. There's this, there's this old... It's yeah, true, it's true. There's this old music video. Yeah, it was a comedy sketch, right? It was a parody sketch, right? And he looks at this and he's like, oh, he's a fanboy. That's his natural state. Bro, you were literally dancing in a gay bar surrounded by gay dudes. That's the thing. I thought he like, was gay. Like, why is he so homophobic, man? <laughs> I actually it's thought like, Max uh, was gay. I was like, okay, he's I don't gay. know. Maybe, uh, this, I mean, uh, it, it could be that he's in the closet. It could be that he's in Ernest the closet. Rommel, yeah, the leader of the brown shirts. I know. Oh, it was gay? Homosexual. I don't yeah. even know, man. But look, yeah. the, I'm not one of the um, uh, defendants of the argument that, oh, you know, if you're homophobic, you're actually closeted homosexual. No, I don't think so. I think there's many people who are homophobic and are not homosexuals. They just don't like gays, right? Uh, yeah, I don't think it's necessarily uh, because of that. But in Max's case, man, he's, he seems to be a closeted homosexual and he seems to be very homophobic because he has this repressed... Thing. I'll be honest, I didn't even think he was closeted. I thought he was just gay. <laughs> I was just like... I think it's closeted because somebody because said he, like Max is gay or he was raised by two gay fathers and I was like... Because to me, nowadays, gay is just, just blasé. It's not even, not even like remotely important anymore. Nobody yeah, cares. He's like Ernest Rommel, <laughs> Nobody... the brown shirt SA leader, a known homosexual, and Hitler had to kill him because uh, the brown shirts wouldn't tone down their rhetoric, and there was fear of a coup. So wow. Hitler, they had to kill him on the knights of the long knives. Oh wow! They eliminated all the brown shirt leaders. Ernest Rommel, a homosexual leader of them. Okay. Well, you there know, you go then. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of that scene from The Incredibles where Syndrome says, uh, when nobody is super, uh, when, when everyone is super, nobody is super. If, when everyone is gay, no one is gay. <laughs> exactly! That's what happened! Everybody is gay now and no one cares. <laughs> They're not special anymore. <laughs> it's a but that's, I think spectrum. that's actually what pissed off a lot of gays, especially the flamboyant ones. Now that's why they're all trans and non-binary and shit because being gay is just not special anymore oh, <laughs> it's just this. blase it's just, just, the, just like being know, a heterosexual <laughs> oh, I believe it I heard of these bars <laughs> they were yes <laughs> welcome <laughs> to the world of the hetero <laughs> gays <laughs> you're not special anymore <laughs> just like the rest of us <laughs> just normal <laughs> yeah, but wait it doesn't say anything about them being gay yeah yeah where I don't, I don't so, think so that, uh, where did you guys go today? Where did you guys go? Uh, like gay men? Yeah, you're. Were you in the in the yeah, Parliament Square gay. or? I thought there were just um, Nazis. Yeah, um, unfortunately, discovered. No, they were saying that gay men had a, a role to play in, a, in the military. Yeah, we were. What the hell? Would they? Trafalgar Square. Oh, by the Nazis. Okay. Uh, this is a neo Nazi. Okay. Is it true that they've stopped know, people recording in Trafalgar, exactly, uh, on yeah, Trafalgar yeah, Square yeah, because of, I don't know, some kind of, like, 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 like for social media yeah, and stuff? Because I got approached on that uh, Ukrainian, you know, anniversary by one of these guys that's like a jobs worth guy dressed in like a clown outfit with a hat saying, you know, we're, we're like public whatever people. And he says, no, you're not allowed to record here for social media. Now, if you said I was here just for my tourism, I'm just a tourist, then it would be fine. But if I said because I'm doing it for YouTube, and it was literally I said the Ukrainians are having a, like a, an event here. There's a stage. Of course I'm going to be recording. <laughs> so oh no no, but you're not allowed. I said look mate, you go get whatever the hell, whatever the hell you want to get. I'm going to be recording here <laughs> for the next two hours, and he just disappeared. I mean, the Ukrainian organizers would like the. What that's the thing. Film, sorry, but I said there's going to be hundreds of people with cameras here. They're going to be recording. Yes, there's a whole thing going on. Known to be but a yeah, but you're not supposed to. to I don't care. <laughs> then he was caught in bed with like but a boy. And like I, 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 that's what, that's what I was asking you. Did anyone approach you? But I guess because you don't have it. Because you see, I've got all this shit. 
and they're like, oh, okay, he's got like he's definitely some guy who's going to be recording. But you look like a tourist, so you could be effectively because you're just like just a guy, just a girl with a camera. So maybe that's why they didn't. I have my tripod. It's in hidden my bag. Oh, but did you get it out and set it up, or I did. I did. I was in the crowd. I didn't know I could uh, stand in front. Yeah, nice yeah, spot. but no, that's okay. I mean, maybe, maybe because you did it later on, maybe the, yeah, there was it was too many people. And, yeah. yeah, the organizer was like, "Why didn't you say <laughs> you could have stood in this nice spot here? Yeah, it could have come right up front." <laughs> Oh. You didn't have to be the <laughs> I like your badges. Oh. That London 2012. That's 2012. That's uh, Peaky, Peaky Blindness. And, uh, and yeah, the, um, uh, Can I take a photo? <laughs> I might get some. Yeah, I figured. Lovely. I figured that the this one is going to be unique because there's no one. You know, you're not going to be able to find it again from 2012. Um, that one is actually 2019. Um, you know the sort of Memorial Day, and sometimes you do find them on eBay. Though. Yeah, and this is uh, for the feminists oh, who, who stand against trans, the turfs. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is the turf match. I heard one. There's a famous feminist who got uh, banned from speaking at a university because she said that uh, trans men can't become women, and that's insulting to her as a woman. And then she was like a hardcore leftist feminist, but then the, the progressive woke. Uh, Agenda, they, that was unacceptable to her that she was denying the right of trans uh, men to become women. Yeah, yeah, that's what's supposed to happen so now. You know, it's like they're so extreme that they've resorted to infighting. Oh yeah, yeah, they've been they've been eating uh, the, the, the whole the whole lefties have been. <laughs> yeah, the lefties have been eating each other for ages. They've been eating their own. I know, I know, it's crazy. Yeah, I just uh, hold on. Let me show these badges to my guys. Yes, guys, you see this badge? This is Posey Parker's. This is Posey Parker's badge of uh, the the feminist yeah, he's funny, turf tree. Uh, these are these are the badges that people were talking about just earlier on. We were discussing. I don't know if you guys could see it on camera, but if not, there they are. All right, boys and girls, we are. Good, good. No, nothing. Just uh, Omar is talking to uh, those guys. Is talking to Pavlov. How about yourself? Well, it's. I mean, apart from you bastard and you chara <laughs> and you sharmuta. <laughs> apart from that stuff, the uh, the chap, the the guy in the red jacket, he has this book, um, which is the biography of Mohammed, and it's kind of like a meant to be like a quite a reasonably deep book about the biography of Muhammad and that's why Omar is talking to him very calmly because he's like okay he's being nice about Muhammad and <laughs> other a sincere exploration exactly exactly but uh, if it was if it was anything else he'd be like you bastard you 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 kosomak he'll be swearing the shit out of him but yes okay guys and girls did you get managed to do anything get anything good any no, good? no, I, I, I took my camera out and I put it away. Are you kidding? I just didn't feel like it. Wasn't there any? There was some nice conversations. I just wanted them to be conversations. All oh, right. So. I have days like that. Yeah, yeah, it is. I, I suppose. I've been I've been live streaming since one o'clock. To be honest, I'm ready to die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I just want to go home and take a shower <laughs> and just, uh, <laughs> Okay guys, um, we are still, we're still here, like and subscribe, could you please just hit the like, the subscribe or whatever the hell it is that you guys do, no, you know what I mean. Hit the like, you assholes. What's wrong with you? Um, and yeah, share. Share this with your family. Share this with your mother. Because the language I use on this channel is clearly good for your mum. <laughs> share this with everyone you know. Family, friends, loved ones, your in-laws. I'm sure your mother-in-law would love it if you just said, could you watch this video of this maniac talking shit on the internet on the, in London? I think they'd appreciate that. Give this video as a Christmas gift, a birthday, maybe an anniversary. You can give this to anyone of any age. 
especially those. No, no, no aid. A 18 plus only. 18 plus only. <laughs> oh, Louis! Yeah, just gonna start my live stream. Oh, good night. Go for it. Yes, guys. Louis, oh, hold on. Hold on. Okay, now go. <laughs> um, Banksy style live stream from Speaker's Corner. Drop him a follow on YouTube. Hi everyone. Big up, big up. All right, I'm good at guys. Louis was there. My live stream. I'll be on it, but in about two seconds. I got my hat on and everything. Scarf because it's super good. windy Looking here, sharp. but yeah, I like thank the blazer, you, I like the Cheeto, yeah, it's all good. Yeah, it's set up for the street. <laughs> yeah. I'll be two seconds. So no set up. <laughs> that was Louis. By the way, Louis is a 10,000. Congratulations on 10,000! 10 10 10 10 10 Mate, honestly, 10k, literally. <laughs> 10 Mate, within a night. Like, I, I really know, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> so, yeah, we got the live, we're just about to click start. Do yeah. your thing, do your yeah, thing. Yeah, every two seconds. <laughs> Louis is a 10,000 subscribers. Can you believe it? How quickly it went by. So, um, so yeah. So that was Louis. Uh, he was uh, he was at the uh, at the at the Al Quds march yesterday. So he covered that. He managed to get some guy getting rugby tackled and arrested, which was awesome. The rugby tackling. <laughs> So yeah, so yeah, guys, um, we got we got actually some people who've just arrived. Lewis is about to start his uh, live stream, and uh, Mr. Francis, and that's uh, that's it. We are uh, is Omar Omar still Omar is still talking his shit. He's mostly mostly uh, saying what he's saying. Oh. Uh, I uh, show me the way to go home. I'm drunk and I want to go to bed. I had a couple of drinks about an hour ago and uh, it's gone straight to my head. Show me the way to go home. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to introduce you to uh, Half his Reflex. X Factor style. Half has half has got talent. That's right. Half has got talent. Um, I would I would take some requests for songs, but unfortunately, uh, leveling up, flirting. <laughs> Hello. Okay, come here, come here, my dear Susie. Guys, this is Susie from uh, uh, Holy Holy Spirit Signs. Is it? Is that right? The Holy Spirit Signs. Be showing back to front. Oh no, no, it's okay, it's okay. It'll it'll be all right on the other side. <laughs> it'll make it on the other side. So, Susie, how has your day been? What have you been up to? What is your message to the world? <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, your last clip was awesome. I it loved was. it. Thank you. Yeah. And I saw it that you clipped it. If you told me, I would have actually like, edited it for you and I would have sent it to you, but uh, I didn't know. But yeah. you clipped it and you put it on your channel, which was good. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, it was a long video. It's like two and a half hours, so I just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's good. You see the time ago, I was filming the... the yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, because you were recording it like from like a phone or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't worry, if you ever want any of your clips, tell me. I'll download the video. I'll cut it to that bit so you have good quality so it's not like recorded and stuff i'll email it to you just right. we'll, um, I'll, I'll find you don't worry yeah thank you <laughs> we need to we need to exchange like emails or something so that way i can send it to you properly but uh, so what is your message today Susie? and and you i'm glad you're wearing something warm it was very cold and windy it is very windy and i'm always worried about you because yeah. you're, you're a tiny little girl and you're always wearing very very <laughs> It's sort of thin stuff, which is freezing. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. <laughs> yeah, I think you get you feel it more as well. But no, the wind is really like yeah. severe. Yeah, really the wind definitely. definitely. Um, so, what did you do today? How was today? Came you? here. How was the? How? The, 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 how is everything? Oh, the central lines yeah, shut down. I tell you what. No, no, really not much to say apart from. Uh, I don't know, no, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. Give us, give us your, your little mini speech. <laughs> uh -huh. 
Are we live? Are we, we're live. Are we, are we alive? Oh, Hi, live, everyone. Guys. I've been live for three hours. How are you doing? <laughs> this whole thing has been live. The whole Has time. anybody got any questions about Speaker's Corner today? Ah, there you go. Guys. Like, um, it might pick up next week because it's in you know, Ramadan, it's the Easter break. That's true. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's not really much going on. Um, yeah, it's a little bit. A little bit thin on the ground. Yeah, the central line's not, not running right. today. Yes. Are you alive? We've got uh, a seeming standoff, everyone. Yeah. Uh, we've got Banksy. <laughs> let me just... Uh, let me, let me. Oh, sorry. Hold on, hold on. Guys. But anyway, my TikTok channel is Holy Spirit Sign. Um, there's a bit of controversial on, on stuff on, on there. Uh, I like... I like really uh, comparative religion. Um, so that's my thing. That's why I do like to come in Speaker's Corner. Because it's... You know, I get a lot of questions that I go home with. Not I, not that I get questions, but I come up with questions that from listening to other people. So if anybody's interested in maybe comparative religion, it's a good place to come down. Um, you know, and uh, Google is your friend <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> so I get a lot of my answers from. <laughs> nice. Oh, asking people. You know, there's a lot of uh, people here that will answer questions if they have the knowledge and the answers um, and equally you can come down and do your own thing here there's a lot of space they're always looking for new new exciting uh, in intuitive or intellectual people that have something to offer to the park you know because some people you know people get old of the place they get tired of the place sometimes they you know, so it's always it's always flowing. Uh, new people come, old people leave. So this, uh, yeah. If this is your place to come down, come down, and you get to meet lots of interesting people. And uh, yeah, summer's coming. So oh, just one thing: check the weather before you do uh, pop down as well. Especially if you're going to bring any uh, posters or books you know you don't want to get drenched in the rain and uh keep going keep going, <laughs> keep going. yeah i've got i've got to do a little battery all right well my message is always the same uh i claim to have the holy spirit seal on my right wrist which uh i have videos of it on my uh, tiktok and youtube channel um i haven't done this by the way on purpose to try and upset any muslims or Christians for that matter this is something I've been given um, you know contrary to say that I get accused of, of doing it on purpose which I'm not doing it on purpose all right so just keep that in mind and um, yeah that's a bit of the intermission there's a lot of noise here in the background a bit of mutter going on a bit of mutter no mutter accusations yeah yeah there we go. Uncle Omar and his... So if you like drama, you come down to Speaker's Corner In every Sunday. Um, always from about 1, one o'clock, 2 o'clock until the sun sets. And come prepared, come prepared, because you never know. Every, every weekend is different. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Susie. Let me put this back in there. Thank you for giving me the time to... And as a reward, nice you may have a chewing gum. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I need one, but I'm just offering it to you anyway. <laughs> no, you you smell like an angel. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna go to. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we are going to go to uh, Omar. No, Omar, Omar is finished at the antics. Kadir. Hanzir! Hanzir? Hanzir Haywan! Ah, yeah, yeah, haram! You Haywan! You ha 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 Okay, okay, now, you Haywan! He's just coughing up a ball of phlegm! Yeah, you are the hey one, yeah, 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 Look at this, look at this Arab, look at this Egyptian bastard. Egyptian bastard. You, you're going to be terrorist, aren't you? 
You convicted terrorists? Yes, yes. This this man this man has actually been convicted for terrorism. <laughs> you luck? Yeah. You like cucumber? This man has been convicted. Is that, is that, is that, is that how you do it? Is that how you play with your dad? Is that how you play with your dad? Look at your head. Look at his hair. Do you like it? Do you like it? Look at the trouser. Look at the trouser. This is how the transporter look like. This is how the transformer. Huh? No, no. I am happy. Are we done? Are we doing more? Punjabi Gutta! Punjabi Gutta! Oh. Where's the perfume? Ramadan? Where's some Ramadan? This is the way. This is the way. If you want to wear, if you want to, if you want to, if you want to uh, yeah. I'm gonna speak from the name of I'm an Egyptian Haywan. I'm an Egyptian Haywan. This is the name of the Egyptian psycho. Turn around, turn around. Look at your hair! Look at your hair! Look at yourself! Look at yourself! What happened to you? Man, you bastard! Man! I am a man lion! Are you? Lion, you have Mr. Muta! Are you? Oh, bless you! He's a very old lion! He's the entertainment! This is entertainment! Like, you're a very old lion. Let's go. I know that you like to play with them. More like, more like Scar. Bless you. I know you like to play with them. I know them. Play with them. Play with your gingos. Play with them. Take them back. Take them back. Brother, please. Yeah. Never, never come close to this. You know, it's like, uh, like, uh, what you call it? COVID. We're gonna get you. Huh? Oh yeah, Egyptian dogs are gonna speak like that. Heywan, Heywan. Is it Muta? Is it Heywan? Donkey! <laughs> Where's Khomeini, Mr. Muta? Khomeini is, is in hell. Yeah. Khomeini is in Jahannam right now. Yeah. He's in Jahannam. Yeah. Get, 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 you see that? You see that? You see yeah, that? He's getting he's that? that right now. In Jahannam. Are you, are you from, from, from Shaitan. Are you a transformer, Mr. Muta? No, Khomeini is. Khomeini is right now a transformer. Go back to Egypt. Why are you associated with this? Big what? for Khomeini. Why? Why are you associated with yeah. transporter? Lana. Why? Why? Why are you transport transport? Why? Yeah, come on, Khanzir, go away. Okay, we're done with the more madness from uh, the madman. The, the pigs are gonna bark and the pigs are gonna bark. Yes. All it is. Yeah. That's what that's what that's what Islam teaches you. Exactly. Like guys, only thing is <laughs> when you when you meet someone like that, you just tell them, Khanzir. Khanzir, Khanzir, or oh, oh, Egyptian Khanzir, Egyptian Khanzir, and some people, like some Christians, say they're both. You need to shut up, right? <laughs> stop barking when people are talking, right? <laughs> stop it, yeah? Did you don't? Wait, do not, you guys, make, you guys? Not making assumptions. Do not make assumptions. So go away, walk away, kid. Yeah, you need to. Well, what happened? Walk so away, kid. Walk away, about. kid. Just shut up. Yeah. Do not talk ever again. Yeah? Shut up. Shut up. Be cautious who you talk to, yeah? Be careful. Why do I need to be cautious? Because, because we like to bark a lot, yeah? Chal, 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 push, push, chal, push, push. Oh yeah, you got to do your brothers, man, come on, pick up. That's what, that's what you do. When people bark, you tell them to push, that's it. No need to bark. Like, 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 like when we say, people come up to you and say, oh, this, Oh, that! Don't talk like this, but the uh, exactly. <laughs> when, when we say, uh, <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> awesome. Let's go find some debates or whatever yeah. the hell is going on. <laughs> God bless. God bless. <laughs> okay. What's up? What's up? I am looking for. The pub. Let's go. Are you going to join? All right, dude. I will catch you. Uh, I might come down to the pub, or I'll. Uh, if I don't, then I'll if next we, week. If we're not in the city of Quebec, we are in the three tons. If we're not in either of them, we're probably in the chicken place. Chicken and chicken. Oh, okay. Same chickens. <laughs> probably one of them. I'll see you again. Take care. Have a good one. Oh. Okay. Slim chickens. I, I have no idea what that is, actually. I have to, I have to look that up. Um, okay. We don't really have anything else going on here today. 
always a Christmas Christian gentleman. Excuse me, sir. I'd like to say thank you for the other week when you chased that Muslim and managed to get him arrested finally. Thank you so much for, for staying with him. Guys, this is the gentleman who chased the Muslim all the way down to Marble Arch until he finally got that bastard arrested. <laughs> get away like that. exactly exactly if they keep getting away with it they keep doing it so once in a while there has to at least be some justice yeah. because the number of times Muslims attack people in this park is just ridiculous yes. did you see the video Chris made you know Chris uh, speaker oh, yeah, yeah, last, year. last year's Speaking attacks of... it was almost an hour worth of attacks yeah. of just different attacks on, on, on non-muslim and uh, non-christian uh, sorry Christians non-muslims anyone that basically speaks badly about Islam yeah. constantly and, and this is this is ridiculous. Yeah. How is it that this one group gets away with that? Because I guarantee you, if it was a bunch of white sort of uh, English uh, boys who were down here with I don't know uh, the the, the, the uh, what's it called the St George's flag, and they went around slapping people, they'd all be in jail right now. Absolutely, they'd all be in jail. And even before they show up here. They wouldn't, yeah, exactly. The, the police would be here before they, they even show up here. This is really unfortunate. Very very unfortunate. How? I think I think just because they use the tag religion, yeah, and also they play the victim yes. all the time. They have uh, mastered this act of you know how to how to you know play this mind game to make everyone think that oh we are being you know don't do we're this being to me. Persecuted. persecuted and so on. While all the while evidence points they to the, the fact that they are the ones who are persecuting. Yes. The persecutors are complaining about being persecuted. <laughs> Absolutely. And also they are, they are, I don't know how the society is not seeing this properly, but they're playing this mind game again to impose Sharia. Yes. Without even Sharia becoming part of the law of the land. For example, someone bought a Quran somewhere up north, a little a young man. Oh yeah, yeah, there's a folded page or something. And then the police have to come and you know make a public announcement saying, oh, oh poor guy, you know he's not well and not, you know mentally not well. And I think, and the boy wasn't actually; he was actually um, uh, autistic, heavily autistic. And his mum had to go to the mosque and and beg them, apologize and beg them. For me, I'm thinking, how, why is that even needed? Exactly. It's just another book. Someone had a copy. We're, we're in England. So what? Absolutely. So this is how they're imposing Sharia. This is Sharia from the back door. Through the back door. And it's already mainstream. Yes. Uh, unless unless we really work on it to reverse the trend. Look. They're doing this. Mohammed. I mean, here at the park. Look, look over there. Do you see the Ramadan sign? Absolutely. That is to me a disgrace that this country's public, the, the pick, uh, was it, uh, Oxford Street, and I believe it's on Regent Street as well, that we have happy Ramadan. Everywhere. What has happened to this country that we have happy Ramadan on the streets of London? What, this, what good did, the, did this do to our country except to make us illiterate forces to stay quiet, not ask critical questions? suddenly begin treating a book as, as if it was some sort of a god exactly and uh, you know when everyone begins to respect a person who isn't even historically scrutinized properly uh, essentially sharia sharia yeah. in the UK. sharia from the for, for, uh, stealth sharia i mean that's essentially what it is a stealth sharia is we what we're to, and like you it. rightly said uh, when uh, any other group which tries to do anything similar especially the native exactly sphere, the police will be on their case even before. This is what I want to see. I want to see happy Diwali signs exactly the way that we see the happy Ramadan ones. Exactly the way, I mean, admittedly, we've always had, um, the, you know, Merry Christmas. But that's because this is a Christian country. I, I personally... It is a, it, 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 you, in a Christian country, you should see Merry Christmas. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, in my view, in my view, uh, I am a Christian, of course. But uh, coming from India, I, I, think, I think people would appreciate. I think even Indians would appreciate who come here would appreciate <coughs> that uh, if we stick only to Christian things that will be completely understandable because it's a Christian country what what else do you expect and I think that's the only thing we should actually see um, but, but what but I'm saying is even if they, if we were to, to say that we are a secular country and we're diverse and blah 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 okay where's the Diwali signs 
Where's the, um, the, 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 the Chinese New Year signs? Where's the, um, the Zoroastrian signs? Where's the Sikh signs? Every, every, every religion and country has celebrations. Every country has their, uh, their you know, symbols and, and, and decorations. We don't see that. We only see two religions at the moment. And I guarantee you, we won't see a third. We won't see Happy Diwali on those on those banners. We won't see. I mean, admittedly, the only part of Chinese New Year that's celebrated is in Chinatown. But that's that exclusive area which everybody kind of knows. I'll be honest. If they oh, they they had Happy Di uh, Ramadan over mosques, I wouldn't care. Yeah, yeah, that's that their mosque. Yeah. But this isn't their mosque. Oxford Street isn't mosque. Isn't a mosque. At least not yet. I don't know. Maybe it will be because you've heard of the Trocadero's. There's a, um, you know, in Leicester Square, there is an area they, call, they used to call it. They call it the Trocadero's, which is a, is like a shopping area. Used to be arcade games and stuff in it. It's right next to, um, I think there's some Burger Shake Shack or something. As you come down past the M&M shop, you know the M&M shop. Yeah, yeah. As you go past it towards Les, uh, Piccadilly, there's an area called Trocadero. Apparently, a, a, an a Arab person or someone of the, the, the Islamic world has purchased it and wants to make a mosque on one of the floors of that and this is like a historical English British building is historical to this uh, to, to Leicester Square but now they're gonna have mosques and if a mosque is then established there will they have azans being sung from the um, from speakers I don't know but I can imagine that I can guarantee you within four or five years if we continue with Sadiq Khan as the mayor and and these kind of Islamist progression there will be azans sang in Leicester Square it will be very very unfortunate but this is where I think we need to wake up a part of the problem is of course also that uh, we as a nation haven't been investing time and effort in you know understanding our history properly and so on and this um, this is a serious issue yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so for us to you know of course the leftist ideas have come in to allow you know everything in exactly. place and so on so we I think I think more may, may, I, I think many of us should begin researching studying taking ownership for what we're talking about and I, I and of course as a Christian I'd like everyone to be a Christian of course so I'd like uh, but unfortunately these days uh, you know, I've, I've been to various towns, town centers, and tried to engage with various people. Not many have beyond a very basic knowledge of the Bible. Of course. Yeah. Very, very, very sad. It's because it's because we no longer are teaching uh, Bible studies or, or any of those things. And don't get me wrong, I'm not a Christian myself. I'm actually secular. But I understand the value of Christian teachings within this society. This society, its bedrocks its foundations are of a Christian nation and the secular society that we have is a is what was built upon it it wasn't the foundation of it yeah. and if if you destroy the foundation of a house you destroy the house exactly. so that's why I feel the Christianity of this nation is m far more important than people think because they don't realize that your secular leftist uh, you know everybody utopian everybody living together ideals are actually built on that bedrock of that Christian foundation you're now digging that foundation you're destroying that foundation and when you do believe me it wouldn't be your secular ideas that are gonna replace it it'll be the Islamic one because that's the only one that has the same level of foundation and stability to hold the society secular ideas unfortunately I don't think can build a society they can they can superimpose themselves on top and give you you know sort of everybody's equal and give you these utopian ideas but it, I think fundamentally your society is going to be badly damaged if you destroy that. a simple thing it is the Christian background the Christian history of our nation which even gives the idea that okay anyone can claim anything but when someone claims something you can scrutinize and find out if the claim is true that comes from the Christian heritage. Where did the universities come from yeah. of our nation? Where did the intent to study research, you know, various fields of uh, deep research, you know, archaeology and history and so on, various of them actually come from solid Christians. Yeah, a lot of the people were monks, a lot of the scientists were monks back then. Advanced by solid Christians right at the start. But 
replace that with Islam, what would you find? Exactly. Well, go by our belief statement. You can't even ask questions. If you scrutinize, we will persecute you. If you ask, I mean, if you take a copy of this book, you better wash your hands, <laughs> bow down properly, and uh, you know, pretend this is uh, this is word from God. Well, but if you wait and ask, well, how do we know if that is true? We won't let that happen. So, in other words, these are not comparable religions. Oh no, people no. are people should. Really this is the biggest mistake and the f biggest lie Islam has told the world, which is we are like the Christians and we follow Christianity too, just because they have some passages that say you know we acknowledge Christianity because they had to it was it was literally a lie from Muhammad to say that there is no Christianity he couldn't deny it because it was so obvious so obviously he had to incorporate it and then uh, if you like um, super, um, superimpose his ideas over Christianity because ultimately he couldn't deny it. There were Christians in the world. They've been around for hundreds of years. So he couldn't get rid of it, but he then co-opted it and then bastardized it into his own advantage. And that's why when Muslims claim that they are Christians or they follow Christianity, it is the biggest lie ever told because fundamentally Christianity and Islam are opposites. They are, they are not compatible. Yeah, the Quran can never, I mean, there's no vacancy. From a biblical viewpoint, there's no vacancy for anyone to come and fill in. Exactly. So there's no place for Islam. But um, but again, I'd really encourage, and I don't know how many are watching, how many would watch later, but I'd really <laughs> encourage people to study history, study Christian history, study the first century Christian history, uh, find out for yourself, go through the details of the theology, and find out if things are comparable. Don't just give in to this RE indoctrination, religious education indoctrination that is sort of, you know, trying to put everything on level playing field. Yeah. And therefore, you know, it's pretty much like you want to put Da Vinci and someone who can't even paint on yeah. one playing field, what do you do? Well, you can't make this guy any better. You make the other guy poorer. That's what you do. It's like saying Stephen Hawkins is at the same level as a five-year, you know, ten, I don't know, ten-year-old school school student. Oh, they both know maths. They both know maths. It's got to be the same. <laughs> yeah. So this is the problem we are having, and we need to uh, face the facts. We need to uh, engage with the facts and so on. So yeah. Thank Love you so much, sir. Thank God's you. Blessings. Thank you. My name is Banksy, or they call me Banksy around here, but okay. I'm not the real Banksy. I'm just, okay. just, just a guy. Speakers on my channel, is, yeah, exactly. My channel is called Halfheads Reflex. So my okay. friends, you know, they can they call me Halfheads okay. if you want. But yeah, thank you. I've seen you. I've seen you with Bob, okay. and I've seen you guys. So you, okay. thank you. Thank see you. you. Good to see you. Thank you. Take care. Okay, guys. We have another little mini interview out the way. Let's. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see what else we can see. I don't know. Oh. I see Cyrus. I think he's thinking about going home. Cyrus, are you planning to go home? Oh, I thought you were planning now. <laughs> Yeah, hanging around, see, maybe there might be an interesting conversation. I'm hoping so. Yeah. I'm hoping. Is it, is it becoming repetitive for you? I gather that that's what is happening because you feel like I've had this conversation 10 times before. Why am I recording it again? <laughs> I think that, no, I think that coming here will serve serves a purpose on my great admission. Mm. But I also feel like I'm um, outgrowing it in a, in a sense. Not, uh, not in a kind of grandiose sense, but in the, in the sense that I have like my, I'm developing my own platform. Yeah. Where I can just sit and say the things I want to say, and I don't necessarily. I don't. You don't have to come here to talk to the, the same group here. You have a wider it's audience dealing range with the same now. Issues. Yeah. It's dealing with the same. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's view. repetitive. And I want to talk about a, uh, an alternative. Yeah. But also, it's it's useful because these are the this is the world views that we face here, the religious viewpoints are the ones that you deal with when you speak to people in the in public generally yeah, speaking yeah, they're yeah. the most popular it's a microcosm yeah oh, these are these oh, are the yeah. most popular world views and so it helps me to sharpen my own debating skills yeah but it also it, 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 it will uh, 
I get asked questions here and I get an opportunity to work out the answers before I go out in the wild. Someone asks me and I'm on the I'm internet. Yeah, it helps, all it helps yeah. me to prepare. Yeah, it's true. It's like sharpening your, your skills, sharpening your tools, yeah, uh, getting your, your arguments like yeah. back and good. forth. I think it's good exercise for the mind. When you... It's like chess. I think it's just like exactly. intellectual chess. The more you play, the more yeah. you're going to get. Yeah. yeah. And um, I think it builds confidence because even when you're having a one-to-one -one conversation in a public place, you're always susceptible to someone coming and observing and listening. And so you like, get like this random factor of someone walking up that you've never spoken yeah. to before. That is something I found is on the internet, it's, it's, I, it's hard because I go live and I invite whoever wants to come on a panel, but there's, I have my own bubble of people who yeah. mostly agree with me, so I have my own echo chamber. Yeah. So I'm not going to get this random factor of just someone who totally disagrees with me that's just going to hop onto the panel. Yeah. Whilst here, I have that slight ra more random factor. Yeah, um, I like I like the chaos element to it, the unpredictable unpredictable unpredictability of it. Um, but also, it's it's tiring sometimes. You know? <laughs> To deal with a lot of yes. yelling and, uh, and noise, so you gotta you gotta filter through a lot of bullshit yeah. to get to that gem. Yeah, there's, a, there's, a, there's a good chaos and a bad chaos. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's you know, it's also it's, it's addictive. It is. It's hard. It's hard. I took a couple of weeks off and it's hard not to come. <laughs> especially, especially because you get like a, it's like this one day a week. It's not like every day. You're not doing it every four or five days. If you did it maybe three or four days a week, you'd probably be more sick of it quicker. But it's this yeah. one little. It's like talk me. You get that little bite, <laughs> and then you have to pick up another one. Yeah, yeah. And before you know it, you finish the whole bag. <laughs> and then you don't need any more for a few days. And your mouth is dry because of the salt. <laughs> you're dying. You're dehydrated. Your tongue is swollen. <laughs> but when I, you know, when I first started coming here, I, I didn't really have a well-formed um, world view or like philosophical position. But I, I've developed one, and what I've realised is that I don't want to waste my time in combat. I, it's actually a beautiful message that I would like to be able to share without the, you know, here when you, when, combative, combative yeah. here when you, when you present an idea, it's automatically, it, it, it undergoes a, a, an instant process of, uh, like peer review in a sense, yeah. uh, like falsification, which is healthy, but also I think it's important to be able to just express yourself and allow your thoughts just to freely, you know, kind of... Yeah, but, yeah, you're right, but you can only do that on your own platform. Yeah, you yeah. can't do it here. Here is a combative, argumentative, push-pull scenario constantly. Yeah. Uh, you might get one or two people who are like-minded that you can then just talk and let your mind explore yeah. but yeah i find getting on your own channel youtube Twi uh, tiktok whatever and just ranting and i do that a lot because these guys know <laughs> also we have especially in this forum there is a particular dichotomy between two opposing uh, religious perspectives and we don't we don't need to name them like everyone yeah, yeah, everyone <laughs> <laughs> what happens is the strength of one is inferred by the weakness in the other. As if to prove the other one false is to prove one's own position true. Which is, it's a false dilemma. Oh yeah, it's a complete, it's actually I think a, a logical fallacy anyway. Just because the other person is wrong, that doesn't mean you're right. <laughs> but this, but this um, impression is created. But such is my confidence in my own position that I don't feel I need to get involved in that. Because I think once I've shared the information I have... Then that's it. It's out there. It's out there. Yeah. There's no, there's, you don't need to prove it. You, you're, not, you're not out to win. You see, this is the other thing. This place is what a lot of people call WWE debating. This isn't debating in a, in a, in a cordial or in a, in a way in which you convey information to other people. 
This is, I want to come down from the top rope with the elbow, and it's the big leg, <laughs> and it's the big show, and he's pressing him. <laughs> and that's why Mohammed Hijab and Ali Dawa do so well here, because they don't debate, they have WWE events. And this is why the Dawa Ganders do so well, because they have WWE events. All their videos, if you go and look at their, like, their titles, is. Shamsi crushes atheists. Ali Dawa destroys Christian. <laughs> like dramatizing things. Exactly. But it's just not. It's not. It's not about conveying information. It's like, look, I have this message, or I have these thoughts, and I would like to give you my thoughts because I want you to tell me, have I thought this through? Have I? Am I mistaken? Am I just an idiot? reply in a, in a constructive yeah. way I want to get a feedback yeah. to see what my thoughts because sometimes I have thoughts I sit and I think about shit yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I want to know has anyone else thought these thoughts has anyone else explored these ideas and if they have what conclusions did they reach did they reach better conclusions than me am I just an idiot <laughs> constantly I'm thinking am I just an idiot <laughs> it's, it's as I say you, if you come here to share your ideas you need to do so in the knowledge that people are go like a priori they're gonna they're they're coming here to prove you wrong yeah. or to somehow catch you like, catch you in a trap. Yes. And by the way, they do that online as well. There's a lot of yeah, yeah. chat, you know, panels and yeah. stuff. That, that there are people like that. That's why I stopped debating. I stopped talking to some of them. Yeah. Yeah. That, well, it's for that reason that I'm very selective about the people with whom I share those I those thoughts, those ideas and, and thoughts. I mean, I can like you know, I can participate with the best of them in you know in the traditional in the WWE discussion. Style. Yeah, we can all do that. But actually, to have the humility, I think to make to kind of put your ideas out and be vulnerable to doubt yourself yeah. uh, yes I think that that's but you see the irony is here they think that's a weakness they see that as like oh he's just weak he's not sure of his positions I know God exists and everything was created by him but he doesn't know yeah. so he is the fool he doesn't he's not 100% convinced that my bullshit is 100% if you believed if you smelt your own farts and believed that it was the greatest thing ever they would love you here but if you actually have some humility and doubt about what you think to be right and that maybe I'm not right about things. Maybe things are not as crystal clear. Maybe things are in the gray. They're not black and white. You fucking weak bastard. I will now crush you. And now I will title my next video how I elbowed this fucker from the top rope. This is the thing. It's like, I can't have a conversation with you because you're not a human being. You're, you're a fucking actor. Yeah. And, you know, so, and if you're lucky enough to catch those people off camera, it's quite a different... different experience exactly often. but even then like some of the more some of the guys with the most exposure are so paranoid about being caught out they don't even talk yeah they won't yeah. they won't even risk dropping yeah. the dropping the character yes. off camera um, yeah. Because, yeah, I've seen it because a lot of them have. A lot of them ha some of them have been caught being yeah. very different, being yeah. far more cordial, far more like easy going off camera. Like when they go to eat, like eat or somewhere yeah. out there, like you see them in restaurants and stuff. Yeah, but now they're taking the cameras to dinner. Yes. You've seen the one with Sneeko and, yeah, yeah. and Ali. So, so you see, the, it just carries on through yeah. now. The persona doesn't stop anymore. Uh, probably in the privacy of their home. That's probably the only place they'll drop the act. But up until then, Everywhere you go, is IR is you're on you're on social media 24/7 IRL. I mean, they literally have IRL streamers now. They call them in real life streamers. Yeah. They walk around their fucking life streaming <laughs> their whole life. That's why if you start and you build a platform from a place of authenticity, you don't you don't have to act yeah. when you get traction. You just continue to be yourself. You just carry on as you want. But if you build if you build a following on performing a character you're you're going to get locked into that character eventually true. if you keep if you grow enough it's true so yeah just I, I like to, to find i have like a select select few <laughs> people that i like to share ideas with yeah. then i have a bit of sport yeah and then i go home and i do the serious like sharing of of uh, information is it still on um test the claim or have you started something else so, uh, if you don't want to share it on, on no, like no, a thing, I'm happy to. Um, kind of as time, as more time goes by, I'm, I'm hoping to, to share it more. So um, 
I'm Test the Claim on YouTube and on TikTok. Uh, the YouTube is like more long format, TikTok is like more highlights. But also I've recently started lordwisdom.org ah, okay. on TikTok and then we've got like a website and stuff coming soon. And I haven't that, seen that one, that's why I've got to check yeah, it out. Yeah, that's still in the early stages um, and that's more about sharing the philosophy of Zarathustra um, or the philosophy yeah, upon which me. Zoroastrianism, the religion of Zoroastrianism is based. And that's a very gently, organically growing yeah, community. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, I mean, like you said, if you started um, with, on, a, on a genuine or on a congruent sort of level, and that you're just who you are, and this is honest expression of inform or exchange of information, you yeah. you you no carry on on that trajectory. Finished. Yes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Wallahi, you're finished. Yeah. Wallahi, you're finished. Yeah, this not, is what I mean. That is such bullshit. We're not, we're not doing any of that. No, we're not doing that. That's what I mean about WWE. Yeah. Now you know exactly. It's a peaceful, peaceful space. I um, I take questions. I reveal like some not long lost teachings, but things that just maybe people aren't looking at so much these days but they don't realize that all this stuff that people talk about here, we wouldn't be talking about it without those, those, those origins. foundations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, actually, that's the funny thing. I was talking about the, the, this Christian guy about the foundations of this country and its Christian foundations and how if you destroy that, all this secular niceties on top, it's gonna crumble to shit because it's been built on that bedrock and that bedrock is far more important than people it's, I mean, I'm an atheist I don't honestly believe there's a God but I know the value I know the I'm pragmatic enough to know the, the value of Christian or, or sincerely held beliefs and things that give your nation foundational um, beliefs and morals to build your nation on and it's true that Britain was Celts and other things, but it has been Christian for the best part of a thousand years. And those, are, those, those roots are very deep. They are, everything you see on top of it is, is built on those. And you destroy that, I don't think you're going to find, the, 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 you will find someone else who replaces it. And I believe his name, uh, his, uh, his sign is over there right now over Oxford Street called Ramadan Mubarak. <laughs> well, this is the thing. Um, <laughs> To suggest that the Judeo-Christian foundations upon which Britain are, or the British system or ethos are founded, I wouldn't say they can't be replaced, but it, one must think very carefully about what we replace it exactly. with. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's my fear. It's because I don't think these lefty, limp-wristed <laughs> libtards are going to be the ones who are going to be able to do that. I think a much more fundamentalist ideology which is the one mostly discussed here, is what's going to most likely replace it. Well, coming from a perspective of the teachings of Zarathustra, a very strong thread in his teachings is one of uh, progressiveness. We are taught to employ the progressive mentality, but we must be very careful not to um, engender progress for the sake of progress. Mm. So, yes, we can change things, but we don't change things for the sake of changing them. And in fact, we only change them when we have a better way of doing things. Exactly. Not just because we don't like how things are right This now. is what the lefties are like constantly going, oh, oh, Britain is just changing. Things always, yeah, but things also so, sometimes change for the worse. They don't always change for the, but change in itself isn't always a good thing. No, I agree with you. <laughs> um, but we must be open to change, but we must think very carefully about the direction of change and the consequences of yes. those choices. Yeah. And, 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 and a cautious step towards change, not some wild, just running... Some, some revolution? <laughs> I know what revolutions do. <laughs> I think you and I very well know how revolutions go. Yeah. Revolutions are dangerous things. Not because of the revolution, but because you can't control the chaos that it creates. You cannot control who takes over, who takes advantage of that revolution and then hijacks it. And this is why these idiots around when I see little kids screaming revolution I'm like you don't know what you're asking for <laughs> I mean yeah sometimes there is the kind of the be better the devil you know than the devil you yes. don't view as well like I say if, if you are 
encouraging change, then you need to know what that change is and what the impact of that of that change will be, at least to such a degree that you can. Um, I don't see an obvious candidate for the replacement of the existing like foundations of British society, <coughs> but there has to be scope one day to. Sadly, I feel like there has been a decline, at least in the average like quality of life of the average British person. We have to establish what the underlying causes for, the, for these things are and find better ways to do things. Does that mean wholesale changes? Does that mean a complete ideological change? No, I, I disagree. I, um, we, I think we should be able to judge ideologies on the types of people and the types of uh, societies that they create. So if if an ideology is being proposed to replace the existing one here, we should be able to look and see what it's done elsewhere. Exactly. And if there's nothing much to shout about, then... This is the thing, most of these people are talking about like the other ideologies. You can already see that they failed. I'm like, dude! No, 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 but you see, what, they, what the true believers always believe, and this goes across the board, uh, religion, uh, communism, whatever. They just didn't do it right. If they did it my way, because I'm so fucking awesome, <laughs> I'll be able to do it the right way because I am just, the, you know, the bee's knees. But if those, I, I understand. Yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. But those other assholes, no, no, no. They didn't know how to do, how to do it. The Mao and Stalin had no idea how to do it right. <laughs> Sheer, That's what, sheer it's, hubris. The, oh my God, the hubris <laughs> is unbelievable. Anyway, thank you so much. I, I know I took up some of your time, but I always love talking to you. Doesn't matter whether it's online or not. But we should we should definitely sit down and do some uh, online, comfortable sitting in our home on a nice, comfortable chair. I want to get on more of your lives as well and contribute. Yeah, come down, come down and talk. But, uh, yeah, thank you, thank you. Okay, guys, um, that was the great Cyrus of Speakers Corner. Um, now uh, I think things are things are slowly slowly winding down. <laughs> oh, are you finishing? No, not yet. I'm almost there though. Yeah, it's almost done. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up and pack it up. Before wrapping up, I need to say something. Do you? Okay, do you want to do it now or do you want to wait? Because I'm gonna wrap it up in like two minutes. Hold on. Let me. Said it's healthy, so you. Oh, you wanna you wanna be in with me? Okay. Hold on. Thank you, sir. Okay. So this stands. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. Yeah, put it here. Put it through here. There we go. Okay. So here we are here with Mr. Francis again. Jesus, uh, Jesus, Jesus is King and Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. I'm changing MC, guys. <laughs> he's not using. He's not using abusive words. Um, he's not trying to be, you know, like one of those when he's online. Yes. Like, look what I'm doing to. I'm corrupted. I'm becoming corrupted. <laughs> Christian is corrupting Hafiz. <laughs> what is happening? Mrs. Banksy's not gonna be happy. <laughs> oh no! You know what <laughs> I love you, Miss Banksy. Uh, although Miss Banksy, she hasn't subscribed to this. I don't. I hardly ever see her on Hafiz Reflex. Oh bless her. But uh, are you married? No. Oh no! We need to find Hafiz a Christian. Woman <laughs> to marry. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, what was your uh, what was your final message of the so day? So, my final message of the day would be, in all honesty, is no matter anyone would come up to you, you might agree with them or you might disagree with them. But all I'm going to say, always make sure that you stand your ground. Do not be intimidated. Even if somebody's saying you can't say this because it hurts them, I would say if you if you within your heart feel that you feel sorry, then fair enough, say sorry. But to the gentleman who came up to me earlier and said to me that don't do this because we are grown up and we need to converse this way. But speaker's corner is about it, half his really knows to converse no matter what you want do not be intimidated 
Do not feel that you need to speak uh, or control your tongue. This is a protected area for a reason where you speak whatever you want. So I would encourage everyone to have your say and do not be intimidated. And Scotland, what is happening to you? Look at yourself, Scotland. When I came to Edinburgh, I didn't even have haggis for this reason because you guys are banned of free speech. Shame. Get rid of Hamza. Hamza useless. Get rid of Hamza useless. Yes. And you free, free Scotland. Freedom. Free, free Scotland from Hamza, Hamza Yusuf and Scottish National Party. Yes. Freedom. Freedom. That's my message. But God bless you all. Peace of Christ be with you. And hope as I am trying to persuade Hafiz, I'm going to do that one day to you all. Jesus is King. <laughs> Amen. Take care, guys. I'm out of here. Have a wonderful day. Peace. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Great ending. As always, as always. How are you?